Okay, first nail cam because I said I don't get my nails done last week. <laughs> so it has like pink hearts and little bows. Can you guys see? Are you live? Yes, can I, I am show live. My, can I show my nails on your? Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. Nail cam. Are they pretty? <laughs> okay, welcome to another KPC Live and Anna Live. Yes. Weekly on Tuesdays, which almost yes. didn't happen because Anna was very overwhelmed I'm yesterday. I'm very overwhelmed. Um, so I moved this Saturday. Mm. And I have, a, I have tea, I have TMI to spill about this. Okay. But first of all, because I remembered, you guys, you oh, know, you my guys cosmetics. said, yes. So in the last week's stream, I was noticing David has extremely dry skin and really rough skin barrier. It's not too bad. Do you have anything on right now? No. Okay, so he okay. hates any sort of moisturizer. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't do any type of skincare. So. Nope. But because I'm a skincare girly and I'm an influencer, I guess and loads of stuff. I brought him an entire bag of goodies. So Is let's go sponsor? through it. He's not a sponsor. Are you sponsoring that brand? No, but if you guys want to uh, buy these on Olive Young or Yes Style, my Codes are always linked in the description. Okay, so okay, okay, first of all, okay, this is actually I'll, I'm gonna put out the the best for the beginning. So you don't have to use this, but this is a good gift to give to your mom or like a girlfriend. What is this? This is a beauty device. Is it like it's a like nostril? you can use it too. No, it's for your skin. Oh. So it's like for wrinkles. <laughs> So it's a device. These are really expensive. I swear this is not sponsored. It's not sponsored. I, I just this have loads of sponsors as hell. It's just loads of stuff to give away. I'm moving this Saturday, so I'm just giving away a lot of my stuff. Why is it called an ager? Age ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have the like, booster pro. It's an ager. You're you're gonna like. Anyway, so me. that's a really good gift. Okay. Okay. So how you do skincare, David? First, we start off with our toner. <laughs> this is hyaluronic acid because you or your skin needs. And this is very um, not sticky, so okay. that's that's really good for you. Okay. <laughs> Turn up first, and then yay! yay. <laughs> Thank you. And then um, I brought you these. These are unscented and like super non-sticky. Uh -huh. So the type of stuff that David likes. These are Purito. So you put on serum, and then you put on cream. So I won't even remember the order. Turn up, serum, cream. That's the order. Serum, order. Cream. Yes. And yes, also, see. I brought him an eye cream because you have you're starting to get wrinkles around your eyes. So even if you don't do anything, I recommend before nighttime just put a little bit and go around the eyes because okay. eye cream At super nighttime. important. Oh, okay, skin tons <laughs> on. Yeah, skin tons on. These are all really super good products, by the way. And this, I don't oh, know if you want to use this. Oh, this looks expensive. This is a just daily face mask. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. So Not you can just expensive. have them in the office and just, just slap it on for five, ten minutes and then you get instant moisture. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. And hey, finally, wow. finally... I'm getting bombarded with these with cosmetics. products. There you go. Wow. Finally, because in terms of aging, SPF, is, SPF protection is the most important, right? If you don't want your skin to age and have wrinkles, you need to put on SPF any day. So in, even if you forego all of these, this I really, is basically sun cream. Right? This is sun stick. Okay. So this is super non-sticky and just really useful. Mm. Yeah. So even if you don't do anything else, you should put this on at least before you leave okay. the house. Okay. So, nice. so how was my gift? Thank you so <laughs> gifting much. Gifting to David. Wow. This is Skin Tonza. Wow, so many uh, free products. Yeah, it's so, so nice to have an influencer yeah, friend. <laughs> there are parts to being friends with me. Yeah. So. <laughs> so you have a bunch of these at your house. Bunch of these. And I actually think um I think for my birthday this can you it's like mid April already. Mm -hmm. It's like oh, half the year, so it's my birthday suit, like next month. Oh, I it? think for my birthday, I might do like a giveaway. Mm. And just, you should if you have a lot of yeah, I have a lot of products rolling in your house. Yeah, right? I wish Anna was my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like these products are going to the person that's not gonna like use it to the best. You know. You have to. You have to look after your skin now. You're I at that will, age. I will. <laughs> age is just a number, but okay. <laughs> And yeah. I'm sponsoring David with skincare, yes. Yeah. But thanks. Yeah, yeah, I'll try to use it as... I'll try to memorize the uh, order. Whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. So, my... I had an incident over the weekend. Well, not an incident, but basically because I'm moving flats, I'm moving apartments on Saturday. And um, so basically, I already... Had, it had been confirmed to me that the guy that came last time, he was going to take my house. Yeah. And then my real 
realtor called me he was like actually that guy is not the one that's going to be moving in it was his brother that came mm. but the actual person that's moving in he wants to see the apartment for himself why would his brother come first? i don't know maybe he was busy but his brother came to the viewing but not the actual person mm. he's like can they come today yeah, yeah. and this was like on saturday morning afternoon and i was like oh, okay fine so i like tidied up and i was like waiting for them and then they were like and then they came in <laughs> i was like well, come in come in and then they were like looking around someone's calling me it's okay okay they were like looking around and the guy's like like wondering and he's like oh i saw your um video on youtube of your apartment what? and i was like what what he was Korean? Oh, oh, I guess you put it up there. So. I mean, I put it up there, but like, yeah. how? Like, how did you see this? You have Korean subscribers. That's, that's yeah, but that. like, I didn't understand how. How would he have found my channel? How would he have found the address? Like, how would he have like put those two together? But then I was like saying this to Subi. Well, like you, you said you live in Shindang. And if you go on Jigbang or any of these apps, <laughs> like it's pretty easy to like, you know, narrow well, actually, it down. Well, I mean, Subinia was saying like maybe when the brother, younger brother came to the first viewing, mm. he was looking around and he must have seen my um, YouTube yeah. thing and it, that has my name on. Mm. Maybe he saw that and he was like, okay, gotta go look her up afterwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then obviously my apartment video that, that has quite a few views, mm. that video. Yeah. And well, then, but then I, I, it's just so like bizarre when like people walk into your house and they're like, oh, I know who you are. I've seen your video. I'm like, <laughs> like, that is kind of that's like, I felt like, suddenly so too. naked. Yeah. I felt very exposed. Like all, he's walking into my personal space with all of my personal stuff, and I was yeah, like, yeah. I had no idea you were yeah. going to already know who I was. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's nice. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Yeah. So I mean, even when I do my next apartment tour, because I see a lot of the Seoul apartment tour mm. videos, and they show. I mean, especially if you have a gorgeous view, then you're obviously gonna show it. Yeah. But once you show that in a video, people can actually find out where yep. you live mm -hmm. and like what floor it's you're so on so easy yeah so even if you do an apartment video i think it's not it's a good idea not to show the window the, the any, surroundings anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah if you want to do the apartment even that even showing your apartment is a slightly risky because you're yeah, letting people like show like how your layout of your apartment mm -hmm. and stuff so yeah so i was like oh that's nice and he was like oh and just like kept like looking around for a bit. yeah imagine if your audience was almost mostly korean then it would be really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because but people can actually physically come and look for your place. Yeah, and then so after, so yeah, and then last week as well on the Friday, I met up with my new apartment's owner. She's also a lady. And so we signed the contract together. And then she was telling me like, oh, like there was like one incident with the previous tenant. And I was like, okay, what happened? Yeah. And then apparently she was like, Apparently it was a uh, yeah it was a woman and then she went to work mm -hmm. and she swore that she closed the front door on her way out mm -hmm. but she said when she came back into her apartment yeah. she noticed there was like toilet paper in the toilet bowl and she and she Ooh. she was like I did not Ooh. leave that there Ooh. and so the so the landlady she was like I don't know what actually happened like whether she just really forgot to close the front door yeah. or somehow someone managed to break in but like anyway because she freaked out the tenant freaked out they had to she was like don't worry though i replaced the locks with like the most top security like the best lock and like a bolt uh, but she was like to be honest i think she forgot to lock the front door but obviously i have to do as she asks and i was just like okay she's like but don't worry nobody's gonna break it do you but i was like okay <laughs> why would the realtor say that kind of stuff the realtor did it. the land, oh, the, the, land. The, the the owner of the apartment yeah, why would me. someone say that? i don't know but then i was like i've already signed this now so i can't <laughs> and then yeah the realtor yeah. was kind of looking sheepish like why are you mentioning this yeah, exactly <laughs> like, this is not like turning it's like oh someone might have broken yeah but, but it's don't okay worry. nobody's gonna come yeah don't worry you it's not gonna happen to you but like, oh, I'm gonna miss my my current landlady because she was the nicest. Like, she like wrote me a note and gave me a plant when I moved in, what? and she never bothered me throughout my whole tenancy. Obviously, I was like a perfect tenant. I've never been late with a payment. Mm. Um, but she was. I've loved my landlady. But the new one, she's like the older, slightly almost harmony age, mm. and she seems a little bit more like annoying yeah, yeah. <laughs> like slightly more but like, do you actually like communicate a lot with your land no unless unless there is no reason to unless right, exactly. you're, you're late with like, a I've, I've never even met mine yeah except for the signing yeah. yeah so so yeah i'm flat so i have to pack and move and my dad is helping me on saturday and, and why are you moving again why yeah what's because the reason 
the contract ends or you can still live there i can still live there yeah it's on a rolling contract now but like i remember i died because it's the loft but in the summer like, ah, it's too hot okay, and okay. I was like, so I now it's like a out. single floor room. yeah yeah it's okay. just like a big one room okay did you get one of those influencer penthouse things no 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 <laughs> no as much as i want to but i want i also like saving money <laughs> so okay, okay. it's always like paying money it's not cheap either it's like yeah. well that's like standard these days well you could always make a vlog about like my life in seoul in a penthouse something like that mm -hmm. And I, okay, I have another TMI of the week that I don't know if I should share. <laughs> okay, look, while you get ready. Uh, oh God, hello, M. Thank you for the super chat. I hope the makeover rejuvenates you. I'm, I'm fine as I am right now, but uh, it'll get better, I guess. I'm ready when you are for the Zoom call. Yeah, um, let's try to do it Ooh. at the end end of the stream, okay? You're going to do it at the end of the stream? Yeah. Uh, if you're like kind of, you know... If you don't want to include this in your stream, then I can just just do it at the end end of the stream. Mm. If that's okay with you, I don't know if you'll be with us for like the next one and a half hour, but yeah, if, yeah, let's try to do that. Okay, so if you guys want to, do you guys want to hear my TMI story? <laughs> if yes, like the stream. What's the please. category? Um, dating. It's not dating. It's like. Uh, doctor appointment, but kind of embarrassing. Oh, I thought you met a doctor. <laughs> no, no. Okay. If you want to hear it, please say. And also, guys, like the stream right now, Obviously, so YouTube pushes it out. It, yeah. <laughs> if you want me to spill the tea. <laughs> if you want Anna to spill the tea, put those tea emojis, spam them, and then. Oh yeah, and oh, I yeah. should say I got a PayPal. Thank you, twenty dollars. Who sent it? She's moving so she doesn't have Katie. to listen to her neighbor's sex life. So. Kay <laughs> Katie, thank you for being amazing. Wow. <laughs> okay, so try mm -hmm. to tell the story. Do you yeah. guys want to hear? Go for it. It's not the Botox story. I uploaded my Botox video yesterday, mm -hmm. but it's not Botox. Okay, so. <laughs> this is. So if you're females in the chat, you will you understand. Sometimes we get uh, UTIs, urinary tract infections. I sometimes get them when I'm like really super stressed, or it's just like your your your, your bladder has an infection. You know, sometimes when my like my immune system is down, sometimes what? I get these UTIs. Really? Yeah, really genuinely. So I was having those symptoms. You know, when it's like when you go to the bathroom and it's like when you pee, it's like uncomfortable. It's kind of painful. Yep. I was just like, oh, this is a UTI. So I went to the doctor. This was on the Sunday morning. And because it's a Sunday, not all the hospitals are open. So the one that I usually go to, they were closed. So I had to go to one that was slightly further away. And so I just like went and like I put my name down. I waited, and then they were like, "Okay, the doctor will see you now." So I walk in, and it was a male doctor. Mm. I have never had a male doctor for this kind of thing. If you had a UTI, it's always I've always had a female. Okay. <laughs> because you have to go and you have to do the stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he asked me about my symptoms, and then you have to go and like change into a yeah. like a skirt. <laughs> you have to like. A doctor is a doctor. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, okay, but this is, you know, I was slightly like, whoa, male doctor, but you know, I'm just like, he's a professional. He's probably seen like of tens course, of thousands of, of Gucci's in his career. That doesn't mean anything to him. <laughs> it's probably like, I don't know what you can compare it to, but yeah, a doctor is a doctor. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I've always only had females. So I, I went in and I sat on the chair and then <laughs> he has to like make sure just everything is proper down there. But then it, it obviously I was just like, he's professional, whatever. But I, was just, I just found that moment really funny because I just had, I just went in with like, the, like I literally just rolled out of bed. I was like in like a cap and just like not made anything. But he's just like, I hope he never finds out that I'm like an influencer. <laughs> like, <laughs> this kind of thing. It is uncomfortable, so um, yeah. Don't think of it in that way. It was still, you would be uncomfortable too if you had to go to like, female doctor, like examining you. If you had, you had to get a prostate exam or something by a female doctor, you'd be uncomfortable no, too. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. They're professionals. They're, I, I'd be like, oh, it's a female, and that, that's about it. No. Yeah, thousands of coochies. I'm sure he's seen so, exactly. so many. Not right? even thousands, millions. Millions. Oh, <laughs> millions. Yeah, just millions think about of how many people he looks at as a single day. Let's do some math here. Like, let's just say, like, three people per hour. <laughs> Then you work eight hours a day, it's 24 people a day, and then like 30 people, yeah. 30 days a week, it's six, yeah. 600. For him, it's like looking at like an arm. 
Yeah. yeah, it's like just like a body pot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So even if you if you do one year, you're probably seeing uh, seven thousand two hundred. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it was all over in like three minutes. I got med. Oh, sh did I take it today? Oh my god, I forgot to take my morning meds. Oops, I have to take it when I get home. Anyway, so that was my TMI of the day. And as soon as I came out, I was like, I remember I would text a souvenir. I was like, oh my god, I just had a male doctor. She's like, <laughs> just like, lol. Well, it's, it's, you know, like related, but like it's pretty common if you go to waxing, waxing, waxing shops. Yeah, have you ever been to one? No, no. You uh, should, David. <laughs> no, but like you they're, they're mostly like females. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, there, there have been so many stories on the internet about like embarrassing things that happen to males because they are... That's normal though. I think they expect... Yeah, because like, obviously when you're like stripped naked in front mm -hmm. of a like a female, yeah. it's very normal for you to get a reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of stories about that. And not only that, not only the reaction part, but like uh, apparently they make you do like weird poses like the cat pose or like... You know, yeah, yeah, stand on all fours because yeah, you have yeah. to do the back and crack. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> my friend said like he felt humiliated. Oh, he went and got it done. Yeah, yeah, he was like this for the, the yoga cat yeah. pose for like 30 minutes and the person was like... It does not take 30 minutes. I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, anyway. it does not take... You should get it done, David. No. I'm I'm very strong, like headstrong on this. Like guys and girls, American. both sexes, everyone should get... Just be trim and proper down there. Trimmed okay, but... Do like, you trim? <laughs> I'm not like gonna a... say my personal like whatever on the internet. <laughs> it's okay? a hair there. You need to <laughs> you need to keep it nice. Well, it's just courtesy for the your girlfriend. No, you know? you're, you have the Western mindset. No, seriously, a lot most Koreans do it now these days. No. Are there any Koreans in the chat? Do you guys trim or shave or wax down I, there? I, I would say I believe everyone should. Trim, maybe some people might do it. A lot of people might do it, but waxing it's not like only in bikini seasons for girls. A lot of guys do it. If I go to the public bath, I will tell you 99.9999% all have bushes down there. I'm like my boyfriend. I'm like happy to tell oh, you. Oh whoa whoa! Hey. You're talking about your. No no no! Like hey like if he has like a full on bush, I'll be like hey like let's 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 go to the salon together. No. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna encourage. Because I I will not accept like a full on whoa. bushy bush. Yeah. No. Well. <laughs> Okay, that's Anna's uh, My way to TMI of Anna's the morning. category there, okay. Um, thank you, M, for the $5. Hi, Anna, what is your favorite procedure or beauty treatment you've gotten in Korea? Love your videos. Thank you. Uh, favorite procedure? I mean, probably the most recent, um, like the double, have you got that done? The double chin um, fact fat injection removal mm. thing. I think that's what's getting done. And to be honest, even the Botox video that I put up, I like the results now. So <laughs> at first I was freaking out about like the hooded eyes, but like now I like the effects, especially on the skin. Mm. And I feel like it's kind of going away. So that's my favorite procedure. There are lots, I mean, all the like skin lasers. I've had um, Ulthera and like uh, Thermage, and those kind of like really expensive lasers done at least once. So yeah, and Korea is the best place for that. And also obviously hair removal, laser, that's the best. Everybody get triggering over like the uh, waxing situation. Really? But guys, you guys are the minority if you talk about population, okay? All of Asia does not do trimming, nor waxing, nor anything. You guys are in the minorities there. And medically speaking, hygiene wise, in the modern era where you have showers every single day there's no need for at all to trim it's even more hygienic if you don't have a bush down there exactly if you don't have it like uh, germs can actually no no it. it's more it's more hygienic if you don't have a no bush. as long as you have showers every single day no 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 no, no like literally <laughs> no, no, no. do you want to bet do you want to bet you want to ask a doctor i know a lot about this topic <laughs> and actually doctors say the bush is there for a reason. Okay, but biologically, you... it's supposed to protect you from germs, uh, exterior germs, and also from cold. And it's it's about it's. But even for you, when you look at a, your girlfriend, let's say, do you care if she has a full on bush or if she's like? I don't care. You, you like, don't it's, care. It's at all. natural. Like how do you like? I'm like sorry, if guys, you go like... to if you go to the extreme lengths, even some people in Asia even think it's maybe close to pedophilia if you 
No, this is really old fashioned thinking. Most people in Korea do like waxing some people, these days. Some people no, think seriously, like this is really because old like <laughs> only kids don't have natural bushes down there. Like it's a symbol. No! Like I'm it's sorry, okay. cubic hair is a symbol that you're an adult. No, no, no. And no. preferring not having that. David, okay. If you I don't think know to how the far to ask, how if your girlfriend has a full on bush, do you like? <laughs> can I'm you, like, not gonna say go anything. Down? <laughs> When she has a full-on bush? Well, I'm not talking about myself, but I know for a lot of Koreans that if you love the person and so, you both have that stuff, like, it's natural, it's just... But it's so much neater and more cleaner and just nicer to look at when there's First no... of all, first of all, the world doesn't revolve around sex, okay? The world... <laughs> when did I say that? When the fuck did I you... say that? I'm just saying, if you're, if you're having a relationship with a girlfriend, boyfriend, okay. it's just nicer if there's nothing... Hair in your mouth. See, David is right <laughs> about this. I know. Like, I know my Who medical said that? stuff. Who? Everyone. Everyone. Yeah, no, but like, it's okay. a biological medical fact. <laughs> How real. I disagree, David. No, for real. Like, go search Can it on Google. Can we do a poll? Can we do a poll? Polls don't matter because it's a Western audience over here. <laughs> bush or no bush? Oh my God. <laughs> for your partner. <laughs> For, for for normal people that like don't have you know beauty <laughs> beauty uh, objectives or like sexual objectives or anything like that people that that just go on with their day it's perfectly fine to just Bird. have a bush <laughs> like it's inconvenient to have to manage it every single like whatever um, period anyway so. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, I'm, what's, what are people saying over your channel? Preferences aside, David is medically correct. Exactly. It's a lot of people do it these uh, days. Like young people and women. But are you like not young? Girls. Guys do it too, I, I swear to you. Guys do I it will. Too. I want to show you a camera footage of like the public path. <laughs> or like... I don't want to see that. <laughs> I don't want to see that, thank okay, you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, let's see my poll. The only guy I know- Wait, oh my god, 55% said no bush. Of course. What? What? Why are you surprised with that? You guys, really, you find it- you, you like it you more are, when they have a bush? You are just too westernized. It's and, just way- And you know what, like, it. there's also- like, this is all extreme opinions, okay? But there's also an opinion that it's like, social gaslighting from men. There's a, there's a side that says that too. Like, no, it's not just men because I want my guys to be Yeah, yeah, down of, of course. Too. I said it's an I don't extreme, want hair it's an extreme my... opinion, but a lot of people say men say like I prefer you don't having that, but then when it's a natural state as a human body like that you have that and men say for sexual purposes like I like you clean and then women get pressured into That's doing That's fine it. because I like him clean too. Then if it goes both ways, <laughs> yeah. okay, but most, I don't want most of the cases, <laughs> yeah. <you know. laughs> Thank you, Patrick, for the $5. I can vote for Bush after he invaded Iraq. What the fuck? I can vote for Bush after what? he What? <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I got a super chat too. Thank you, Ruby Rage, for the uh, super chat. Yes, here you go. There's your highlight. If you send super chats, I will put you up on the... Hall of Fame over here. What a way to open the uh, live stream. Let's go on to Wait, the Wait, someone action. need to ask Danny. Yes, I know what Danny will say. Uh, I am not going to say guy, anything about, yeah. The last Korean guy I hooked up with in Korea was trimmed. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Piano teeth? What? Piano teeth? Piano teeth? <laughs> Black and white teeth. <laughs> what the? <laughs> What the hell is that? What is piano teeth? Piano teeth when you get black in the in between your teeth, the hairs. I think that's. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like to sniff my boyfriend's bush. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Hey, I'll just say this: God puts everything there for a reason. Okay, <laughs> it's not unnecessary. Yeah. Anyway, okay, how okay, that was all of my TMI of the week. Anything interesting with you? I think there was a lot too much TMI already, <laughs> so it's about time to move on to the actual topics. Okay, yeah, okay, this was bye. a wild opening. Yeah. No. Hello, hello, Marina. Uh yeah, hello everybody. But yeah, I really Stop beating around the, the bush, bush and let's move on to exactly. the topics. Exactly. Okay, what should we talk about first? <laughs> okay, uh, I mean you prepared some topics that yes. you wanted okay, to talk Okay, okay. I wanna talk about the the V. 
Oh, the main yeah. pictures. Did you see it? I yeah, was yeah, so yeah. shook Ooh. over the weekend when Ooh. I saw on his Instagram. Okay, so. Exciting news. This is very exciting. Yes. Oops. Woo! Woo! Wait a sec, guys. <laughs> so, all the boys are in the military, but he has been bulking up. Yeah, for Look sure. Look at the veins, guys. Ooh. The veins on his arms. I'm loving this. Okay. And look at his back. Yeah, he has been working out. Yeah. Um, he is SDT, special duty, um, in the special forces in the South Korean military. He's been, yeah, there's nothing to do, I guess, apart from work out. Usually V is like on the slim side. Mm, he is, he yeah. He is. He was, I mean, he worked out from time to time, but not never, never properly, properly like this. Right. He's looking thick here, really. <laughs> he's looking big, and I'm just like, whoo! Big. Whoo! Yeah, he's definitely bulking up. Dude. Yes. I, I remember his live stream with the other members saying that he, there was like a competition on who's gonna get the most buff. And yes. B said like he he is actually intending to get like super super. Oh my god! But look know, at his up. yeah, look at his forearms and the veins. Like I love that. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> so this we, this we, the the forearm veins yeah. is a lot is a part that women get a lot like, yeah, very sexually of attracted course. to. Yeah, of course. Shows that he's like strong and masculine mm -hmm. and. And yeah. to be fair, like YM pointed it out well, like 군대 있으면 할게 운동밖에 없긴 하지. Exactly. That's true. If you're in the military, the only thing That's you true. can do is like. That's Work the only out. way you can spend your time. Yeah, exactly. But I was when he posted that to his stories, I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Anna just casually objectifying. Yes, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I am sexually objectifying. But... Oh, what? <laughs> I, uh, I won't I wouldn't put that out there like that, but yeah, but more than more than him getting jacked and you know worked out, mm -hmm. but um like this, like he obviously went into some training. And got yeah, these like scars injury. and stuff. Like, yeah. It's not an injury yet. It's just the, like a rash from like holding a lot of like oh, stuff. Okay, okay. And uh, a lot of like military soldiers get it. So mm -hmm. he's a man, guys. Like you don't have to be too worried about him. I saw some like comments on the Instagram post, like, mm -hmm. "Oh, please be safe, please." Like mm -hmm. you know, like the military is not. I hope it's not training him so hard or anything mm -hmm. like that. But it's just normal. And even he said in the caption, it's like a wound of uh, glory or something yeah. like that so yeah he's but proud of it so. I was very very happy mm -hmm. <laughs> okay unless uh, the old Tony news my other love of my life yeah <laughs> my ooh, other man ooh. 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 I'm liking this yeah <laughs> okay let's go to ooh. Otani though because so the other love of my life, Shohei Otani. So his his um, everyone was you know um, saying like he's I bet you he's involved in the dealing with the betting. They're trying to cover up his mm -hmm. you know I bet you he was involved like he should be fired from yeah. his job blah blah blah. And then the his Ipe Mizuhara, his best friend and translator, yeah. that he became he came to trial and literally he admitted to basically everything and like Shohei is absolutely completely clean. Mm -hmm. um, he was he stole 16 million dollars from his friend. Um, he had an extremely million. voracious appetite for illegal sports betting. Um, he was released on 25k bond. But uh, it was crazy some of the, uh, what he said. So he even tried to impersonate Shohei to get bank employees to approve enormous wire transfers. That's crazy. He, if, and if he's convicted of the crimes, he could face up to 30 years in prison. Wait, so impersonate as like, you know, hello, I'm Shohei, you know. Yeah, <laughs> he, literally. He like imitated him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's um, so, so funny. He, he made unauthorized transfers from Otani's bank account from November 2021 until 24. So for three years, mm. um, his... His like betting was in, like in, absolutely insane. Um, well, Sixteen million money. itself is already insane. Yeah, he made approximately nineteen thousand wages between December twenty twenty one and twenty four, and nearly twenty five bets per day on average. Um, total winning bets of one hundred forty two million and total losing bets of one hundred eighty two million, leaving a total net balance of negative forty million. Wow, he really want, wanted that jackpot there. He was an actual addict. He has some addict. balls. Yeah, though, I gotta admit, fuck? like, how do you bet like how much? Eight. Eight hundred eighty two million. Holy! <laughs> sh if I had that money. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. So he allegedly lied to bank employees and pretended to be Otani, sharing his friend's personal biographical information to try and get oh. the bank to approve. Gosh. large wire transfers. Um, any winnings from Mizuhara's gambling were not placed back in Otani's account but rather in Mizuhara's personal account. So he committed fraud on a massive, massive scale. This is the ultimate betrayal of his trust with his friend. Yeah. I would be so... This is devastating. So yeah. yeah, this is devastating. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, so obviously Otani is the victim in this case. Uh, he provided his cell phone to law enforcement who determined there was no evidence to suggest that Otani was aware of or involved in his illegal gambling activity. Um, and he basically, there was a text message where Mizuhara Ipe said, he was like, yeah, I basically stole from um, Shohei. So hmm. he confessed to basically That's too sad. Everything. That's the end of a friendship. Though, yeah, honestly. but obviously, how can you? Yeah, um, I mean, if you he... were very forgiving, you could understand, I think, but... No, no, that's the ultimate. For three years, continuously stealing and pretending to be you. And obviously, yeah, because. It's a o big betrayal. Yeah, because Shohei doesn't speak English that well. Mm -hmm. He's like the ultimate like um, point of contact for anybody dealing with right. his, his business right. deals. So you don't know what else he might have done yeah. other than the gambling. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be sad. so betrayed. But obviously, he has a new interpreter now. And obviously, I hope uh, he, he has a good wife. He's mm. probably looking after him, but the, like the question is, Toyland says, how do you not notice 16 million missing? Yeah, if exactly. you're I wish I was that exactly. rich to not notice all this it's money. Like, oh, like my bank account. See, okay, like he these are just numbers. Like, they, he doesn't seem like the type to like spend so exactly. much. He only cares about. I don't about, think he. Yeah, he spends nor takes care of his bank yeah, accounts yeah. or anything. He's not like a big like shopaholic or yeah, yeah like uh, into that kind of flashy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wish I was that rich too. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Cyberpunk. Uh, did you see J Hope got permission to dance challenge for his new song, Neuron in Uniform? Oh, part of his Amazon dance series. Oh, yeah, Hope on the Street. It's it's on his Insta Reels. I saw him dancing like in the, the military thing. Mm. Did you see that? Maybe on Instagram? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I saw it cool. somewhere. Thank you for the 10. Pizza, pizza. Um, yeah. Talk about a friend betrayal. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Uh, like never, like Danny and I had my like, ups and downs, but never we have had have we messed this with kind of, messed yeah. with each other's financials. Yeah, we, really we're, we've always been like clean, transparent. I mean, it's because I was the treasury manager. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to be. I did have some uh, like you know um, attempt. Uh, no, no, what do you call it? You hooked there, like. Uh, temptations. Temptations, yes. <laughs> what to pull one over on Danny. It's like, oh, Bitcoin is 100% gonna like, <laughs> spike now. So let's I have this much money lying money. in the oh joint money. No. Like, I could double no. it and put it back there and he'd be happy too. No. And, you know, that's embezzlement. Yeah. No, exactly that's, what happened. Don't ever mix your yeah, friends and business. You know, like, uh, I promote like Hangout Soul. Clothes. Yeah. yeah. Those guys were, those two good looking guys, we all, even had one on Sana, Naked Soul Life. Mm -hmm. They're no longer working together because of this kind of... I don't think you should talk about this <laughs> kind of stuff, but okay. Yeah, don't take money out yeah. without telling the other person, obviously. Yeah, but... I think it's the worst way to go, to be yeah. honest. Like, like you might have business differences and like differences in opinion and mm. direction and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like, if one side was like, like you know, just uh, un unfaithful mm. to the other that's mm. like the worst like the sloppiest way mm. to go so. and apparently it was like uh when he came to seoul mm. he told the is ipe the the mm. translator he all the debts and all the bookies they was catching up to him and he was freaking out and that's when they came to oh. seoul then he told the entire team Gosh. Yeah, in front of everybody being like, hey, like I fucked up. That's like, literally the gambler's mindset. Yeah. It's like one last time yeah. I can like, you know, make all of that back. Yeah. And, then... and apparently there were several times when the bookies were like, okay, where? Because when the Ipe guy wasn't answering his phone, he was like sending him a text being like, I am watching Shohei watch his, uh, walk his dog right now. I can go up to him Holy right now and Christ. demand money from him. So you better get here right now Whoa. and like pay me the money. Like it's so stressful, you know? Whoa. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Ultimate betrayal and don't get into gambling, guys. Don't be addicted. <laughs> yeah. Don't get addicted. And why do you point at me? <laughs> don't be addicted to gambling. Let me check let me check my account. No, seriously, yeah, crypto is not doing good these days right now. Yeah, it's plummeting. It's plummeting. Hopefully we'll go back up. Yeah, yeah. Once the halving comes. But mm. anyway, yeah, poor Shohei. Yeah. He's all over my, if you look on my Instagram search, explore feed, it's all Shohei Otani videos. He's a married man, why are you simping over a married man? I can't help it. At least, I can't help Karina's it. single now. So, yeah, there you and go. And she wore a t-shirt that said, send nudes. <laughs> oh, I yeah, like, I saw. How do I interpret this? Like, is she for real or, you know, like, do I slide into her DMs with... With nudes? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
but she did wear a t-shirt. You might get reported. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so, let's talk about Le Seraphim. Le Seraphim. Because this was like the big news. Um, it is. Did you watch it? I did. I yes. watched some, I watched parts of it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Um, so they, they apparently, they how long have they been active? The Seraphim? Yeah, not long. Yeah, they're like they're, still... they're really fast to like uh, get in, to perform at Coachella. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And apparently Unche the Bangne, she is the youngest ever performer yeah. to perform wow, at Coachella. That's impressive. She's very, very young. Um, but I don't know if you guys watched it, but the headlines have not been good. Mm -hmm. And um, because obviously Coachella is all live, you can't yeah. you can't lip sync during these yeah. things. And everyone, I've seen so many comments of people comparing them to Blackpink and like, oh, Blackpink can like never be beaten and blah 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 which okay for me like really really objectively really objectively i i do agree blackpink is way more stable mm -hmm. and but but blackpink songs are just on the whole easier to perform yeah in terms of the dance moves like the seraphim dance oh, moves are just wow. like insane what no okay go on <laughs> i'm just saying the truth yeah the seraphim dance moves are the dance choreos is just way it's much just much just from um, this is it's for the, no it is but blackpink's choreos is more um just for performing they can interact more with the audience okay, okay. but the seraphim is like proper proper like hardcore choreo and blackpink songs a lot of the chorus is just like do 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 it's like <laughs> Sure. It's like a lot of instrumental and beat drops and like it's not as hard as La Farab Sin songs. Really. Like the girl those girls' songs are actually hard to sing while maintaining the dance moves and like maintaining some sort of breath. I really think so. I was a musician. I, I can tell when like, you know, it's really hard for singers to sing something. You know, so I really think that's the case. I think Blackpink on the whole it was is better, more talented, the four of them. Uh a lot of comparing <laughs> going on here which is like i do think so and um in terms of the seraphim like who is the main vocalist because i genuinely don't know is it chewan mm, yeah is it chewan the yeah. leader yeah, yeah I, I, she seemed like the most stable to mm. me and then it's meant to be yunjin or yun, what is her name yunjin or yunjin yunjin yeah yeah yunjin yeah, so i think uh, people kept saying in the comments she used to be an opera singer like why can't she sing which she's super unstable i didn't say this if you I've dance seen... to that level yeah like, seriously. everybody's gonna be unstable bring an opera singer and let them dance like yeah that. yeah and they'll the be part, out of breath the part that where i heard her like go off key it's like really high da -da 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 while doing all this like yeah it's important it's to, seriously it's hard it's important for the producers to give them like right pitches and yeah. like for real. Doable stuff. Yeah. Too. For example, I think Twice songs was actually super hard to sing. Mm -hmm. They're super high, super high pitch. And Twice songs, and they have a lot of co like melody choruses. It's not like beat drops and like, you know, just like instrumental choruses. Like if you have like high melodies to sing in the chorus, it's actually really hard. So this kind of thing. And but I do think, um, yeah. So those are two of the main vocalists, Chewan and Yunjin, and yeah. then Kazuha, Sakura, and Unche. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, like. Especially, I think I can sing better than Sakura. <laughs> I'm not even like... <laughs> Guys, if you ever get to clip this or anything... Like, Am I gonna get cancelled by I've the had too fast? much in my life that the person next to me talks his or her she opinion. Is, no. And then I'm, I'm just there, sitting there, not doing anything, but I get like bundled up and then get cancelled together. Like, please, like, there's a thing called short form nowadays, right? It's vertical, so you know how to crop, right? Look, so, like, please. No matter what, no matter what, they're obviously, like, million times more successful than I ever will be. They're fine. They don't care a single thing what I say. And Sakura has been an active idol for the past 10 years. She's hella rich, okay? She's way more better than I ever will be. But in terms of singing, I think I can hold a note better than Sakura. <laughs> I'm not even joking about this. <laughs> she's beautiful. She can dance. Singing, I think she's slightly... As I watched some of their other like live encore stages, not just Coachella. <laughs> you keep on going. I'm, I'm going to be filtering I mean, myself. I was until... a musician. I went to music school. I can... I can identify, I'm not tone deaf, I have actually perfect pitch. So I can identify when a note is out of tune. But I'm not sure if all of them can. <laughs> I'm not sure if all of them can. But yeah, very talented uh, performers and beautiful girls, and beautiful gowns. <laughs> okay. Beautiful costumes. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, but my opinion is like, I think people should hold their standards a little bit, you know. They should give 
K-pop idol some slack. You know, they do so many things at once. They have so many things to manage at mm. once. Like, you know, they're in a team. They they have group choreographies and lines to match. Yeah. They have to look at you know all this kind of stuff. Take care of like yeah. whatever and sing and dance and you know you know how much they're out of breath after they yeah apparently they have to sing like 10 or 11 songs straight with just like one tiny water break yeah. and seriously the choreos i was looking at them and i was like i'll be exhausted seriously it looks exhausting mm. whereas blackpink it's like um they're much more just like interacting with the with the crowd rather than like really hard hitting choreo like all like 100 of the time which gives them more breathing room to you know, perform. And, and I, I, I feel bad for Lisa Rafim in this case because uh, I've seen the TikToks too. Like, actually, I've prepared some of them. Okay, so, let's like... watch some. Without the music, we might get confused. Yeah. Well, we have to hear the sound to uh. hear what's the problem, right? <laughs> like, so they, they've obviously clipped the uh, worst parts. The worst parts. The worst yeah. parts of like them getting out of pitch and yeah. like you know not singing well. And honestly, I think like these clips don't prove anything because it's like the whole Coachella sequence is like how many minutes? Like at least 30 minutes if, you, if they do like 12 songs, right? And then you just clip like 30 seconds of the worst of the worst of 30 minutes and you're not, you're not appreciating, appreciating the fact that they're actually performing at Coachella and they have a massive crowd and people are cheering for them and they pulled off the whole gig. But like you just like focus on some parts that are off tone and like ah, like any any artist out there, any singer out there is gonna have that kind of moment. Yeah. You know, even Jungkook had that moment yeah, when he was doing with Charlie Puth and everything. Of so yeah, like if you want to paint like these people, I feel like are haters. That yeah. Clip and like Kaza was having to sing while she was doing her leg lift thing. Like, oh, how are you going to be stable yeah, during exactly. that? At least give the girls if you're going to have to actually sing properly live. At least when the main girl is singing, at least like maybe give her slack off the choreo. Mm. But they're expected to do everything. Like, how how many people can do a leg lift without? like missing the note or like going out of breath or whatever right, right. it's really really like really high standards yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i mean I, I i get the point like you know a lot of people have their own opinions and you can criticize or whatsoever but um you know i've seen a lot of clips about lister fm not being you know good with singing and stuff with, on, during their encores mm -hmm. on stages yeah. i saw all of that yeah, okay yeah. and every i think there is a, is a consensus that the group might not be vocally that gifted or talented yeah. uh, compared to other groups but at the same time they have their own strengths as well right yeah. and they're a the successful k-pop so artist i love the song and the they're producers. performing on freaking coachella so yeah. like they can't be on top of everything so and plus, i don't know company, why people are like nitpicking on that fact that you know their company is hype you know they're the most well-connected korean company in the u.s <laughs> obviously they could if if any other company, Hive can get you those connections to perform at Coachella, you yeah. know? Um, but, uh, you know, Baby Monster, yeah, the new yeah. YG group, people are saying, I watched some videos of them, they're all really good at live. Oh, they are, they are. They're getting kind of, the sheesh. sheesh, yeah. So your YG stuff might improve a little bit these days, but they're getting quite good feedback from the general Yeah, they people. actually sold the most like albums yeah. as like a rookie group yeah. or something like that. Yes, they're really stable. Like, but I really see. like the eyelid Yes. Too. Like yes. Their new what company song. are they? Hive. Are they Hive? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hive is doing the most. Yeah, 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 of course. And I also think Espa. Actually, mm. they're all talented. Well, most of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most of them are. All, honestly, all the K-pop really idols out there are talented. If you just think yeah. in a very wide, <laughs> you know, with a wide heart. You know, like yeah. if if you're like that guy, like Simon Cole, what what is that guy? Like the yeah, British Simon guy. Cowell, yeah. yeah, if you're like if you're like that guy, live your life like that guy and keep on criticizing. Oh, she's shit. Like they perform like shit. Mm -hmm. Like just enjoy the show for God's sake. Yeah. Like you know, <laughs> if you don't like them, you just swipe away. And I'm sure, like I've seen, I saw TikToks of people who were actually there for the lesser effort. Obviously, they just had a good time. They're not even in the moment. They're not thinking about. It's only when you're like nitpicking in your home at home and you're like, oh, that was a bit out of tune. And yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. you know but like when you're there you're just enjoying the vibe the energy obviously they perform they give you a performance right right you know they're entertaining exactly. and they look beautiful the costumes everything it's a, mm -hmm. it's I a mean, whole package i want to give them a big you know round of applause for um 
uh, them performing boldly on Coachella, mm -hmm. like Unche being the youngest. Yeah, and, you know, and I think they must have, I think that you could tell they were a little bit nervous. So nervous. Because, especially after the encore stage thing, like thing recently where like, they too. can't sing and then they have to do a whole set. No, but just the Coachella. general pressure of like yeah. performing at Coachella is yeah. one of the biggest stages, right? And that vibe, I, I'm pretty sure they did a lot of concerts, but mm -hmm. like that vibe is incomparable too. Mm -hmm. Like you're in the middle of the desert, mm -hmm. you know, it's beautiful, you're in a foreign mm -hmm. country and stuff. So. And like if you even if you look at obviously like people like Beyonce she can perform and like dance and sing at the same time but a lot of the time she will have her backup dancers and she's just while she's doing her her vocals she'll just like stand and just like strut around same with Taylor Swift they just kind of like strut around the stage mm -hmm. but they're not performing like hardcore choreo yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole time right. it's like it's actually like almost impossible seriously yeah yeah exactly. so it's really like really high standards mm -hmm. um so yeah good for them and they have what well, next week is week two they'll perform again um, and uh other than Le Seraphim 80s did a performance yeah. too so they did a, a like a Korean traditional performance mm -hmm. which got a lot of like compliments oh, really? so like I got like a news clip over here to show you but uh every, like 80s is super big now mm -hmm. like they've been big for a while but they definitely deserve the Coachella stage. It was massive. Do you know 80s? I don't have, do you know a single 80s song? Yeah, of course. I, I interviewed them. For oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I have no idea. They, I'm sorry. they had like a mix of like Say My Name and you know, how uh, everything. What is their most famous song? I'll, guys, what is 80s most famous or best song? I will go listen to it after this. I think there's a lot, but I would say Say My Name is Say like pretty name? iconic. Okay. Yeah, it's a very iconic. And look at that. They, they incorporated like Korean traditional aspects to it like the tartum and stuff how many members is 80s oh shit <laughs> okay now you got me how many members so is okay in 80s? i think it's seven seven yeah they have like a model so like seven makes one or something like that is it six what, makes what? one or... <laughs> <laughs> what company are they uh they're they're so kq kq oh, yeah. yeah no massive one company. guys i got a little bit rusty out of like you know <laughs> the k-pop phase so please understand if i'm wrong <laughs> Wait, is 80s the one with, um, no, that's 7. Oh, maybe it's 8. <laughs> it's either 6, 7, or 8, but yeah. No, is, is Mingyu the one in 17? 8 makes 1 team, yes, 8, sorry. Eight. <laughs> A lot of my girlfriends around me, they like Mingyu, I think he's 17. Mingyu? Mingyu? Mingyu. Is it Mingyu? Ah, Mingyu from Mingyu. 17, yeah. It's like the masculine buff one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can probably name all 80s members. Hyun Jung, Han, Mingyu, Jong Ho. Uh, uh, the pretty one. Ah, uh, I'm just not how like do you know his this? name isn't like popping up right now. Uh, how, how do you know this? I forgot. Holy shit! Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I see the faces, they all pop up. But like wow. right now, my memory is like just fading. But... Wow. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> can you name all members of Twice? Try. Of course I can. Ever, ever. How many? Nine. Eight or nine. It's nine. I think. Chihyo. Sana, Momo, Mina, Jui, Cheong, Taehyun. Who, who did I left leave out? Um, 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 um. How many left? Two. Two? Is it nine? Yeah, I think it's nine. Oh, there's uh, there's Cheong Yeon. Cheong Yeon. And who am I missing? There's too did many. You say Nayeon? Nayeon, yeah, Nayeon. of course. I of course I know Nayeon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Songwa. Songwa is the pretty one on the 80s, and you, Yunho is like the, uh, you know. You know, he's like the funny one, yeah. Aitini, is that the Aitini is the phantom name, mm. yes. Yeah, I mean like, they've gotten so big ever since our interview. Like, we did an interview when they were super super uh, rookie. It was one of the most funnest interviews ever. Uh, but then they just like blew who's up. Who's bigger overseas? Like Stray Kids or 80s? Oh, that's like the big question. <laughs> but, <laughs> who's bigger? Um, who's more successful? That's, that's like really... <laughs> You know, uh, I saw my K-pop friends or argue 17. over this. Out of the, are they like I think Seventeen definitely, gen? definitely has like an upper tier because mm. they've been like in the game for longer, like longer. longer. Mm. But like Seventeen is huge in Japan and even global wise. Mm. But I think just in Western perspectives, mm -hmm. I think Eighties and Stray Kids have stepped up mm. for a while. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I, I can't. So speak. real challenges. Can you name all of the NCT members? <laughs> No, I, I swear there's a new team now. Even like that, isn't there like a new NCT subunit now with like even younger ones? I was just like, this is insanity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't name all NCT. Taeyong is going to the military. Oh I yeah, know that. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> People are saying Stray Kids is more successful. Okay. 
Yeah, I guess. Yeah, 80s had their phase, and they're still very successful, but I, I feel like Stray Kids is like, you know, mm. gradually just mm. growing with their you know, pace. But anyway, back to the Seraphim. Like, yeah, they're still weak too, and I'm sure, I'm sure they've um, seen how people have responded mm -hmm. to this. Yeah. Because apparently, uh, the hype or like on the Twitter or like on the main social media accounts, they turned off the comments. Oh really? On, oh, the, on no. the videos. Yeah, that's because there a lot of people were just making fun of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. too bad. Like yeah. you know how think think of the think think of it in the girls' perspectives. Like how how excited and how anticipating yeah. they they must have, have been. practiced a lot. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like it's one one of the biggest stages that's gonna be recorded in your career, and like you know they they all would already be in like kind of you know weak hearts after. They know that they messed up in yeah. some part, so yeah, that's yeah. gonna get clipped. And especially Chewon being like the victim of like the do 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 do, you know that viral clip, right? Chewon carried. Yeah. Like she's honestly, she's an old rounder. I can just tell she mm. can she can sing and she can dance and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's a, she's a, she definitely needs to be the leader for yeah. sure. <laughs> But I seriously, I love all their songs. They already have bops though. Lyrics of him songs are the best. Yeah, the producers real. make the like the best songs for them. Yeah, yeah, easy and what was the uh, the black beard, blue beard, whatever. Blue so, beard. Yeah, the even Pushkin blue uh, beard. That one was I'm boom forgiven. boom boom. I'm forgiven. It's all good. <laughs> Like, uh, what else? Like, all of their songs are so, so they're really good. good. They're, yeah. they're really good to hear in the gym, too. I must say, like, you know, the Baby Monster Sheesh, that does sound like a knockoff Blackpink song. That oh, just here she like, goes again. Not, not saying anything, not saying anything against the girls, but it literally sounds like a song that would have been on a Blackpink album they just gave to the new girls. Yeah, I need to talk. This is an am I opinion. Am I not saying the truth? I, I do admit there are similarities yeah, and it literally sounds like it could be a two anyone song or a black pink which is, song. Which is pretty weird because Teddy actually left YG, so he's not producing for um Are they not black label? Yeah. Uh, no 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 no. Uh, Baby YG, Monster is YG YG and Yang Yang Sok actually took the key for oh. like producing them. And it's pretty interesting how like the signature sound is still there and they tried to replicate kind of black pink style. But I guess, you know, they, they think it's like their secret sauce mm. and stuff, mm. yeah. But I, I do admit that there are similarities. Yeah. 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 I, I, I thought of, uh, if you go to our DKDK Patreon, I did like a candid review, mm. like reaction to it. And my first thought was like, oh, this sounds similar to Blackpink's uh, How they Do You really Like That like or something. They really like those kind of like drop yeah. choruses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> no, like I'm not trying to cancel her. Like she's literally I'm not trying to canceling herself. I'm not trying to cancel anybody either. I'm literally just. This stating. is because she hasn't had that much interactions with K-pop <laughs> fandoms. Like you don't know the firepower of K-pop <laughs> fandoms. Once this gets clipped, like I guess you don't care because it's not your audience. No, it's already my audience. Like, <laughs> me that has experience for seven years dealing with this, like I'm. Treading on like okay. very, so very the Seraphim nice. girls are gorgeous, stunning. <laughs> it's too I love late. The songs. It's too late. They are gonna. I stand. I no. I'm sorry. I stand by the fact I can sing better than Sakura. I'm not gonna apologize for this. And that's the truth. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I okay. Like a vertical clip. Okay, vertical clip. I do Her not. Her dancing has improved so much since Produce 101. When she was on that show, I was like, how is she an idol? But she has improved so much in terms of dancing. <laughs> okay. 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 Like, the fact that I do broadcast with her doesn't represent my opinion, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I hope for God no stands are watching on this right now. Okay. Wow, that's a orange. I don't know. DKK, which which currency is that? Jesper. Oh Jesper! Long time no see, dude. It's Jesper. How are you doing? I met him in Korea. Oh, the one you're talking about. Yes, oh, and uh, I don't know if I can give out your credentials, but Jesper is from like a uh, northern north. European country uh -huh. and he was on like this trip um, funded by the government and stuff and he was living an awesome life from what I heard like he's a cook or something like that I and, think you were telling me this yeah 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 and like you know how always the the happiness indicators are always like the 
best up, mm -hmm. like high up there. So I was like, he's like the profile. Uh, <laughs> I always think of like, oh, people living their life. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I won't give out too much information. But anyways, <laughs> uh, just tripped over your new channel. Happy to see you still do stream four years later. Yes, long time no see. <laughs> Yay, yay, yay. Oh, it's... David has canceled PTSD. <laughs> of course I do. I lost 50,000 subscribers in a night. 50,000. That's more than my KPC. Aww. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, like I said, all of them gorgeous girls and they're hella, hella rich. So I don't, they don't need to be worried about anything. <laughs> David, you need a partner that does not get you in trouble. How do you pick them? I guess nobody is trouble for you. <laughs> David's luck with his business partners. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's like... And Mara is an OG too. She's seen everything, like the ups and downs, the roller coaster with... Yeah. I, I think, what I genuinely think I can hold on. No. <laughs> but not everyone needs to be like a Beyonce. People can just be performers and they still bring something to the group, you know? <laughs> they still bring Ooh. something to the group. She can speak Japanese. <laughs> wow. Stop. You need to really stop. Hey, she's talented. Like she's not She is talented and she can dance, you know? Okay, uh, uh, let's move on to the next topic. I'm doing like yeah. Yeah, this gives me flashbacks. What's the next story? Oh, yes, finally. <laughs> what did you bring? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Give me some time. Okay. Okay. I need to recover from Oh that. yeah, oh, the Tongo. Okay, let me talk the Tongo Pam Bam story. Yeah, let, let's refresh for a while <laughs> and let's look at Anna's pictures here and Bella's okay, pictures. Okay, we're doing promo yeah, for a second. So, yeah, so I need to just refresh the air. Okay, so if you go to pirozo dot slash uh, underscore, uh, underscore Korea uh, on Instagram, you can see stunning photos of our ramen and chill Bella here yes. with and Anna as well. She did a photo shoot. Um, I love it too. Yeah, and this is the Wind Runner from Piroso, and she did a photo shoot for Piroso, um, what do you call it, t shirt here as well. They're amazing pictures, right? So, yeah, go check them out, go follow our Instagram account, and if you go to piroso.net, B I R O S O.net, you can see a very Fun stories about Korea and Korean brands like IAB Studio, Gentle Monster, where Jenny does all of the endorsements and you know, you can find traditional uh, craft as well like this, like kitchenware for your house. So we have a mix of tra traditional and modern stuff on our site and we have our own brand with Anna as the model here. So go check it out. You simps, <laughs> Anna simps, go check out her shoot over there. We have like, you know, all the good stuff like these are the best sellers literally this is like sorted by best seller and everybody mm -hmm. everybody seems to love this i have studio hoodie like this mm -hmm. like the blue one and you know the funny thing is like we buy these from cream which is like a yeah, yeah. second hand market yeah but they're actually new stuff mm -hmm. like um they actually give you like the certification that this yeah, is yeah. brand new like this is authentic so we buy it from that but the thing is like they don't have a set price it's Demand, uh, it's like mar market yeah, demand yeah. and supply price, yeah. so like it fluctuates. Yeah. But because we bought so many of these, because of Pirozo itself, the price uh, spiked. How many did you buy? We bought like, I, I don't know, over the past month, like six or something mm. like that. And like these are limited items, like piece mm. minus one from G Dragon and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's like <laughs> Nike Korean version over there. It's just do it in Korean. So we, we acquired these like limited products. And because so many people are buying these limited ones, we're driving up the price. Um, and that's like toppling down our margin. That's funny. So it's a loss for us now. Like, so don't order these limited <laughs> products. Like, we can't afford them. I think we're even like discussing to put them down because there's no margin anymore uh, because we've dri driven up the price. That's so funny. Yeah, so like... Buy the other stuff. Yeah, buy the other stuff here. <laughs> like our merch over here. I really appreciate if you would buy our merch. The Piroso. We're gonna uh, do more brands. And do you know Jerry from K Explorer? Yeah, yeah. He's like a... Fabulous model, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like, he's so tall. And, so tall yeah. and so like, you know, model inspirational. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're trying to get him to mm, yeah, do our modeling good. stuff too. Like, 
Yeah. Yeah. We have AirPods. Uh, like you know. Oh, there's a new story over here. Myeongdong Cathedral. What soul soul lies in? Yeah. And we one did. of my friends got married in the cathedral. My right? friend too. It's it's, it's a really lottery. Nice. It's really hard to get there. Yeah. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah, yeah. So we have card games, calligraphy sets. Bucket hats that Jungkook wore, like accessories that BTS Suga, IU wore, and Soju glasses and everything like that. And right now, just for you guys who are watching this, just now, if you use the coupon code KPC Live, you will get a 10% discount. No, actually, let's crank it up. 15% oh, have discount. Have you discussed this with Jin? Yes, I don't <laughs> care. I don't care. Uh, I, I feel bad because Jin's grandfather passed away last night but last night yeah oh no but, um yeah rest in peace to him but anyways 15 percent to all of you who use the coupon code kpc live right now go do it go check it out pidozo.net we have awesome stuff just check out our um blogs and if you subscribe to the newsletter you'll get uh regular coupons like pop-up coupons so yeah this coupon is only uh uh, usable for 48 hours after this live stream mm -hmm. so you better use it now <laughs> okay let's go on um, okay I think we've refreshed the frappuccino thank you for the super chat whatever Anna wears I'm buying it <laughs> that's the spirit that's the spirit do you want to buy the one Anna actually wore <laughs> if you put in a request like that I will like it's a large I think it's a large size so yeah, are you comfortable with me selling the one that you wore? I mean, it's a hoodie. Should I make it's not a like stocking? Should I make a bid? <laughs> like, oh, limited edition, Anna Warren. Like, and then like starting with five, uh, ten, yeah, uh, twenty, twenty, thirty, thirty, yeah. Do do you like uh, the Western bidding people uh, speak like that too? Like, like, like eBay, yeah, in, in auctions. In auctions, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, they the, do the same. The Korean ones are very super interesting. They have like a, I don't know, it sounds like even pansori, like a sound. Uh, have you ever heard it? In like yeah, the fish market? Yeah. It's like very interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay. oh, someone asked, is the shirt size, is one size smaller than the US? Uh, the there is a size chart over there, so you can, um, you can check that. But I would recommend getting like one size up because like, it, like beefy is good mm. and you know like having some room is better mm. who's tom merritt he has a check mark oh tom uh often drops by my channel but i you're why are you at anna's channel <laughs> I'm just thank kidding. you for being on my channel i'm just kidding i think he hops on both of ours okay okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay let's talk about jungkook's pam pammy jungkook's pam pam Oh yeah, his yeah, dog. Yeah. So he obviously you guys know jungkook doesn't have his personal instagram anymore he deleted right. a while ago and now he made one for his dog uh -huh. is a Doberman, right? Is it a Doberman? Let me check. Uh, Jungkook's dog. Where where was that? Oh, here. Korea Herald. Okay. I think it's a Doberman. Yes, it is. It is. I, yeah. I really like those dogs. Yeah. Oh. Now, it's how many followers is it at now? Is it a Doberman? Guys, can you confirm? Is it a Doberman? What's the name? Usually, they have like. Oh, that's like clipping there. Yeah, so, yeah, that's not. Good. Oh my god! Now he has four point one million followers right now. <laughs> A dog. What that's are we doing dead. with our life? That's the power of BTS. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I I mean, yesterday I was watching on TikTok. I get sucked into dog videos because it clearly knows what I like. And like to be honest, if I I mean, in Korea is you know Korea is super safe, and most of us live in like a small apartments and mm. not like you know massive houses with a garden. If I were to live in like a place like that in America with a lot of space, I think I would definitely have a big dog. And it's like, I saw like a video of a TikTok of a dad. He has, he was kind of like a really masculine macho kind of army guy. Yeah. And he also had two daughters. He was like, nobody's gonna F around with my, nobody's gonna steal mm. or like break into my house. He had like a whole pack of like pit bulls, great days, a doberman. And it's just That's like, I could do kanjin asa. I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. It's like he has a proper gang, like a mafia. He was like, my kids are the most safest kids on this block. Oh, Nobody pit will dare. Doberman, whoa. <laughs> Nobody will dare break into my house that's intimidating yeah but um, but, but like you need to put leashes i like, you need to put like face like, yeah. what do you call them harnesses yeah. or masks on yeah, yeah for but those like those i mean those dogs and like rottweilers as well like they're very so loyal to their owners right. like, any any sign of a stranger coming closer to your owner they will yeah, be like yeah they will attack to be honest if i were living in a like country like america i'm sorry it's like i feel very unsafe mm. so to have like that kind of big dogs protecting me i think i would want that actually you know i have a chihuahua at home <laughs> chihuahuas are vicious i, I know i know they are scary <laughs> af 
Anytime like we have like a Kisan name come to our house to fix like the water filter or whatever, Sichu, we have to put him in, we have to hold our chihuahua and put him in a separate room because the Kisan names, they get scared. <laughs> They're like, ah, yeah, you got to die. Like, so can you please hold him? Like they will bite, they will attack. It's like small man's Napoleon syndrome. You know, mm. they think they can take on like a pit bull, but they can't. Yeah, but they, they're they vicious. I, I've seen a tendency that like the smaller ones are like a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. You know, they're like always on the edge yeah. for some reason. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Sensitive. The big ones are gentle. My 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 ones are like Jack Russell Terriers. They're, they're like quite, yeah. yeah. They're they're called like uh, devils. 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 <laughs> like beagles. Your what do you call it? Beagles, and then uh, what were the three devil dogs? It's Jack Russell. No, not Jack Russell. Like Jack Russell's not common in Korea, so mm -hmm. Beagle is top number one, and then there's ah uh, uh, the two more. You don't know? The, I know. Um, yeah, but I like forgot. Shih Tzu? Do they count? No, not no? Shih Tzu. Uh, it was like a uh, the one with like a long fur here. Like I, I forgot. Yeah, Schnauzer. 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 Schnauzer, and then one is. Uh, yeah, let's go mm. on. But anyways, like happy for Jungkook's dog. <laughs> yeah, if I were to have a big dog, obviously I get the golden retriever I love, but I also saw so many videos of um, Bernese mountain dog. Mm. They're like black and white and have this like brown hair. They're huge yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're so gentle. They're mm. so happy. I'm like, oh, this is Yeah, I've seen like, like bigger dogs sometimes seem more like softer. They are softer. Chill, yeah. They don't like bark and they're not yappy yeah, as they, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they just get, very good natured. Yeah, and they think they're babies too. Yeah, but they're they just come dogs. and sit on you. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like... so cute. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of the small dogs, I also like um, Dax Hounds, the sausage uh, dogs. They're so cute. Yeah, so dogs cute. are the best. Dogs are the like, best. I will argue all day long with a cat person. Yeah. Like, dogs are superior. I'm sorry. I can say <laughs> this for sure. I don't know about K pop groups and like Le Seraphim or whatever. <laughs> But this is I'm, no debate. Yeah. This is no debate. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> dogs are superior, yeah. period, yeah, than yeah. cats. There's nothing <laughs> period. a cat can win over a dog. <laughs> like cancel me for this, okay? I, I will take you down 24-7. I don't have to prove anything. Yeah, dogs I mean, are. I just, agree. Yeah. yeah. Like cats. I agree. They're yeah, so now my new, when I'm in my new apartment, I'm slightly closer to my my dad's house, so I, I can go more regularly to see my doggy. Mm. So, so yes, chihuahuas are scary, scary dogs. I'm telling you, do do not mess with them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's. What's this? Let's let's talk about this. Oh yeah. Three in hundred Korean adults have tried illegal drugs, such as cocaine. This I mean, is crazy. That's compared that's to. That's so high. Three in hundred. I have I sh I wouldn't expect that number, but that's so mm. high. That I mean, compared to like most countries in the West, that's very still extremely low. Mm. But yeah, growing Korea. So growing. I want to know if the headline is misleading or not, because they might be grouping in like marijuana as cocaine as well. So because Probably, they said yeah, such says, as cocaine. Yeah, yeah. So three in hundred adults have tried illegal drugs such as marijuana, cocaine, and oh, okay. at least once in their lives. Okay. They surveyed three thousand adults and two thousand teenagers last year at a time when the growing use of drugs, especially among younger generations, has become a major social issue in the country. The survey survey showed that three point one percent of adults and two point six percent of teenagers had tried one or more than thirteen times two point six percent of teenagers? Have but tried. they already surveyed 2,000 teenagers. No, so but like I, I'm pretty group. sure they did like uh, you know the statistical you know stuff, mm. so that it represents the group. But that's so they're saying Korea can no longer be considered free from illegal drugs as they can be obtained easily through acquaintances or via social media. <laughs> I heard they use like Telegram. Yeah, like uh, those Telegram. kind of messaging, yeah. um, the messaging things. So that grow like. In. Like unrelated, but if you're in Korea, don't use Telegram because Telegram's always associated with something illegal, illegal. or not good yeah. or like. But like, there's one. So I use Telegram. For what? For crypto. That's uh, the only use it. I, I guess crypto can be grouped in as shady as well yeah. if you think about it. Yeah. But like, that's the only usage of Telegram that I've seen as like kind of clean. Mm. But other than that, it's like for you know illegal sex rings or like porn stuff mm. or like. Like because drug the conversations trading. disappear. Right? Yeah, or yeah. like you know politicians having affairs or like that uh. kind of stuff. You know? it's, it's always encrypted. Telegram. Yeah, and they never give out the information. Yeah, it's encrypted. Yeah. Thank you, Jasper. <laughs> oh, Jasper is here too. Yeah, my channel. Hey, just popped on the other chat. Don't freak out. David just joined your 
Patreon as I found KPC in my Patreon. So Yay! <laughs> so I just, I mean, thank you for my super you chat. You joined my Patreon too, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's saying that to you. Yay, Jesper! <laughs> Jesper joined, yay! Okay, yeah, and I got a comment. Like, I talked about, like, on my exclusive podcast on Patreon mm. uh, the last day, how C commerce is taking over so much Ali, uh, AliExpress. Timu. Timu, it's crazy. Yeah. I hate it. So, yeah, even yesterday, I got another, yet another email from Timu being like, can we please do an, can you please do an Instagram reel for us? Oh so I just God. said, like, a super high number uh -huh. and just to see what What if they say. actually bite? I might just do an Instagram. Yeah, I, I, I would, might sell my soul. I would do that. I, honestly, I would do that. Like you know, you're stealing money from the Chinese capital. <laughs> Think of it in that way. But like, if it's super high, then yeah. like just do it. But I'm sorry, I might just sell my soul for an uh, Instagram video. Like, uh, <laughs> Coupang is super good. You know, I haven't seen that level of service in any kind of Korean service or mm -hmm. like global service. So I really wish Coupang thrives. But then with the threat of like Timu and AliExpress, Express, it's, 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 you can't compete. It's just so yeah, cheap. They're just like bleeding money. They money, are hemorrhaging money. money. And, yeah, yeah, Same with just, TikTok. TikTok is hemorrhaging money. Giving out coupons, yeah. free stuff, free delivery, yeah. everything. And they're just making everyone sign up. I, I have know. noticed recently there's a lot more ads in between each TikTok now. Mm. They're trying to, because you guys, like, like TikTok's business model, they literally losing money every year they're yeah. operating. They're just trying to get, obviously it has worked because a lot of people use TikTok now, mm. but like from my friend at YouTube, she was telling me like, TikTok is making zero money, they're negative money. Mm. Um, so they really have to change up their business model now. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got, re I got headhunted from a TikTok, um, TikTok person and uh, obviously they're bleeding money but they're aggressively expanding yeah, their, yeah. That's their staff goal. too. Yeah. So they have stuff like, you know, what I got recruited for was like, um, a, they have new lives live features Yeah. and people do lives uh, as you said to get like balloons or yeah, whatever yes. and there's so many people doing live streams but there are also so many people doing weird live streams as yeah. well. Yeah. Like it's kind of turning into like, what do you call it? Only fans like fan cam stuff. Jinjaro? Yeah, people are doing that shit, and there's not enough regulators. So people are like actually doing like yeah, naked yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. So so this person contacted me and like I want you to be in charge of live live stream uh, regulation and stuff. So like you you constantly go through live streams and check if people are saying like politically weird stuff or like sexual do stuff and really people are doing so many things to get like those those coins. TikTok, I thought it was usually quite strict with like anything. Yeah, they like... have an algorithm or stuff, but obviously they can't like mm. filter out everything, right? Mm. So if a if a woman is doing like you know you know solo show, yeah, flashy flashing <laughs> boobs or whatever, then you know, I've never seen that kind of life. Though, it's honest. obviously getting regulated mm. and like moderated, but mm. yeah, anyways. Timu turned online shopping into a game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like so addictive. We I haven't had good luck with team mm -hmm. quality. You know what I mean? It's literally, it's just like outrageously cheap. You're paying what you get for and it's probably all like sweatshops and like factories and right. like, you know, right. you can't, you can't sell stuff like at that price without cutting costs somewhere. Mm -hmm. So it's not ethical. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. and like I have some products I got from Timu, and they're kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> they are actually shit. It's usable. I think you actually used it. Stuff. This buy stuff. this is from Timu, oh. but it's like literally like plastic I can crush with my mm. fingers. It's like so lightweight. Mm. It smells very industrial. Mm. It doesn't look good, mm. and it was like packaged in a weird Chinese box, and. <laughs> What, 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 what? <laughs> Don't say weird stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, yeah, nice let's going back to the no. Let's go back to the drugs, though. Like, okay. aren't you aren't you surprised? You seem like pretty pretty chill about this. Statistic. I mean, people were saying before, like they were like three doesn't seem that many, but three percent. Yeah, in three, but they're American and like. Yeah. Oh yeah, in America. But, yeah, they, they, they for them it seems like nothing. Yeah. I guess, yeah. but like. <laughs> I, I always thought Korea was a drug-free state, but now it's Nowadays, obviously no. not because yeah, no. 3% that's hella a lot, you know? Hella a lot and yeah, I've just heard, I mean, I've never seen it when I'm like out and about. Like, you know, you hear stories of like... Well, that's good for yeah, you. You really shouldn't good, get right? associated you, with that you, stuff. Like, but I go out like sometimes to like Rodeo or like, yeah, like, yeah. And, like you hear all those stories, like especially Gangnam, like people are like doing drugs like yeah. all the time, but I've never seen it, mm. never. Ever. Yeah. I honestly want Korea to be drug-free forever. Mm. Like, not even weed. 
like people are gonna come at me again <laughs> but like i just want like if if you're gonna ban a certain thing just like ban every every kind of thing mm. and and alcohol as well if you're gonna start like alcohol is more worse than weed and mm. it has more like blah 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 mm. but like i like singapore you know singapore some people think it's like a very controlled society but alcohol you know you can't drink alcohol uh after you can't buy alcohol after like 6 p.m or something like that oh really yeah can like 10, 10 p.m bars? or something they can but like it's you can't buy it in like a store yeah you after 6 p.m i think it's 8 or 10 p.m or something like that i don't remember because, Wait, can we fact check this yeah it's, <laughs> it's fuzzy my memory is fuzzy but like i remember all the korean exchange students hoarding all the alcohol before like a certain time because it's gonna shut down and they don't allow you so they 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 do like i think they do like the the, the spanking thing or the what do you call Plus it? Punishment? The, the punishment, punishment or like a very very severe thing for drugs so nobody dares do does drugs Can't you get death sentence for drugs in Singapore? I think in China, yes if you do like hardcore and distribute mm. drugs but I don't know about Singapore but they're pretty strict with their like, you know our, our society is gonna stay yeah. clean we are not going the American route yeah. like you can defend, you know, like weed or cocaine or heroin, or whatever. Like, but you know, there is a problem. People ever see. They're very strict. Even it, with gum, throwing away gum. Yeah, on the yeah, street, yeah, They're yeah. very like, strict. It, when I go to like places like LA yeah. or you know big cities in yeah. New York, you can obviously see there is a problem somewhere in the streets. Yeah. And uh, people are putting a blind eye towards that. Yes, caning. Caning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Spanking. Spanking. <laughs> it's the same essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Personally, I've never seen it in Korea. Mm. Um, I, I, I mean, I've heard stories. Like I heard like guys that work in like finance. Yeah. Those guys, because they're up all the time. It's like same with like New York Wall Street guys. You mm. know, they need like a little bit of an upper to like help them stay awake. Oh. They need an upper to help oh them stay gosh. awake. Yeah. yeah. This kind of thing. Mm. <laughs> anyway. anyway next, <laughs> next story. Next story. What's next? That's boring, don't talk about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's this? Let's, let's, let's do this. Ignorance is bliss when it comes to romantic partners ex. Yeah. About 52.3% of South Koreans do not want to know about the past romantic relationships of their current partner, a survey indicated. Um, matchmaking company Duo surveyed 300 unmarried men and women across the country from March 15th to 18th to see what they thought of past relationships of their current romantic partner. On why they chose not to know about their boyfriend and girlfriend's past relationships, 56.1% said they were not interested, 17% said they might become jealous, and 10% said it would be overly meddlesome. 31% um, said they wanted to know about their partner's past relationship while the rest were unsure. Do you want to know about your partner's exes? I don't care. You really don't I care? I don't care. Really? Genuinely, I don't care. It's in your past. It's mm. your past. Everyone has a past. You're seeing me now. What matters is right now. The what present. if your partner was like a criminal? That's not dating. Okay, history. okay, okay, okay. No, but like, you generally just said a past is a past. Yeah, it is. Genuinely. Like okay, in terms of dating, then a past is just mm, a past. Mm. Okay. Genuinely, I don't care. Mm. What if your What if your boyfriend met like a hundred girls before he met? He Have met you met a hundred girls? No, 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 no. no. Well, what What if? I'll be like, okay. Would but... that be concerning? How, how much of a body count or like how much of a like number would you accept as like okay decent or that <laughs> I, I don't care like is 50 okay if, if he's 32 no, he as met... long as he does not have an std or like a disease oh it doesn't matter how many people he met as long as he's like super clean and everything now i don't think really yeah, so 100 is okay too if he's clean I don't want to know about it. As long as you're clean and like devoted to no, me right now. Really, put yourself in that situation. Let's put a more realistic number. Like he met twenty people. Twenty people. Uh -huh. is, is, is that concerning to you? No. Is it? Is it? No. Oh, okay. Anna's pretty chill. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't care. Do yeah. you care? Do you want to? No, know I know. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people that is concerned about that kind of stuff. Why is pointless? What's like what no, good like, can come out of it? I mean, like to an extent, it's okay. Like I would say, even for myself, I'm a little bit on the conservative side too. But I would say, if you're like the age of thirty or something, mm. like max, I would say, if you've been in a serious relationship for like maybe ten people, that would be like the margin for me, because 
you know that means like if you're if it's over like 20 people in a 30 year life mm -hmm. when you probably start dating when you're like you know 18 you know like you won't you have a you have a 12 year window there mm -hmm. and if you're meeting a different person every three months six months then that shows something about you that mm -hmm. tells something about you that you can't really like have a secure relationship or yeah. like you're flip floppy or you just like girls or you just like guys yeah. or something like that and if it goes over like 30 to 50 it's like for me it's like a red flag mm. so like i think people have personal you know indicators for that but like for me if it goes over 20 it's like you know it's mm. kind of you know but would you go out of your way to ask them about their past relationships I, uh, like, in my past relationships, I do, like, you know, jokingly, you know, uh, you know, oh, did your ex, you know, you know. Yeah, but that's different to that. asking, like, how many. But I don't directly. Oh. It's kind of a taboo subject in mm -hmm. a relationship. You don't, it always ends up in fights, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I, mean, I, I don't even care about what, like, what that kind of person did or what they, the profession was. I don't really even care about that. It's like, when I meet someone new and I'm getting to know them, then I, I do find interesting, like, the reasons like why did you break up what was the reason for the conflict how mm. did you resolve like why didn't mm. you, why couldn't you work through that but that's kind of pointless because like everybody's gonna speak in their perspective that's true that's and true. and the partner is also going to just be trying to yeah. defend you yeah. if you don't you get in fights yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah so yeah. i mean uh in korean couples i think it's very typical that it's like a taboo rule to not talk about your ex as much as possible if the ex is brought up you always have to like lie no like talk bad stuff about him mm. so that the other side is secure i think that's toxic too mm. like you should be open about your past relationships and mm. share what you learned what you did wrong like mm. you know all that kind of stuff mm. that's a healthy you know constructive mm. relationship but um in korea it's like just shh, like don't talk about that and whenever like the word chin chin comes up mm. everybody gets into like alert mode like what like so for example, if you, your new girlfriend say she's like, okay, my ex used, to, my ex boyfriend used to be like, you know, hella rich, like CEO, and like he always used to take me to like this kind of places, and like he would only treat me the best, and like yeah. this kind of thing. What would what would you say to that? I wouldn't say anything, but mm -hmm. I would feel bad inside because mm -hmm. like I'm not able to provide that much of like mm -hmm. comfort or the convenience for her, good stuff for her, mm -hmm. so. Like, I would definitely get affected, you know? It's not insecurity, I think. Like, it's it's human nature. Mm. Like, if you're being indirectly compared to some extent, mm. you know, like, yeah. I, I've been through a lot of uh, relationships where the girlfriend would be like, you know, oh, my ex-boyfriend used to do this for me, but why aren't you doing this for mm. me? And I'm like, I'm just a different person. And then, yeah, I mean, you know, to be, I, I would never say that, first of all. I would never say that. <laughs> but obviously some people do yeah <laughs> so what do you think of this like this is a big question i've noticed among a lot of my exes mm -hmm. so there was always the debate whether like you have to you have to take your girlfriend uh walk your girlfriend home like take the subway uh... or bus home after every single date uh and i i do that for like you know occasionally if i'm close to her place or you know i'm in a car or something mm -hmm. i can drive her there mm -hmm. but like if we're in the middle of like like chamshu and we yeah. live like 30 minutes afar yeah. and both of our houses are like split in yeah. different directions yeah. i'm like i'm gonna say bye at the chamshu station yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. go bye bye or yeah. like at least go to a transit area and just say bye over but there does she expect you to take her home? but a lot of my past people mm -hmm. past exes have been very like sad and disappointed whenever like mm. you, you're really saying bye to me here now. i can't relate to this i and, i can just go home and then <laughs> a lot of debate there was like oh all my exes like my boy past boyfriends used to walk me home every single date like like aren't you worried that i'm gonna get kidnapped or oh like my you know, God. whatever like aren't you worried like i guess not kidnapped but like aren't you worried that I, it's dangerous during the night oh my god but, uh, of course i am worried but i also know for a fact there are cctvs everywhere and the police like, is you could just talk to her good. on the phone korea is a safe place it's so safe like this is so i dumb. know and i guess it's not just about safety like yeah, she just wants she just to wants spend to... more time yeah. and she wants to see my affection mm. but it's like 
I have a life too. Yeah, yeah. And I, I can't, relate to this. I can't like waste one hour yeah. going there and going back to yeah, my house, yeah, and I'm yeah. tired too. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. So that was. Yeah, if I really care about the guy, then I obviously want you to take rest as well. So it's like, no, just go home. Yeah. and rest I, I've been compared a lot by past mm. exes past dudes what kind they're, of girls have you why are you dating no they're always <laughs> like you know that's the classic one I told you and there's yeah. also one like oh why don't you buy me flowers during like mm. this, just randomly uh, randomly or on or date. dates yeah. like I'm like Oh, I'm I'm just not a flower guy. I, th I think they just wither and like it's, yeah. it's overpriced and expensive. Mm. I would rather get you a necklace or yeah. like something that you can wear permanently, mm. maybe or like you know some good a good meal that at least like brightens up your mood. Mm. But like flowers is gonna be dead in a week, and that kind of symbolizes. Uh, 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 How many people say that though? Like and, and then oh yeah, and then she proceeds on saying like. But like my exes always brought me flowers, like you know. Imagine I would call, if if I was dating a guy and then he was being like, "But my ex girlfriend used to do this for me." I'd be like, "Okay, so what, what the hell do you want me to do about this?" <laughs> I don't know. They're trying to prove a point that like I'm out of the box. I'm not the normal one. Like they're like this is this is gaslighting. <laughs> this is. <laughs> David, date better girls. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you guys think of taking girls back to their house? Driving, I, I guess in America, like you probably would drive mm. someone back to your house, mm. but like about like flowers and mm. stuff. I don't know. Flowers are beautiful. Yeah, occasionally I do it, but like some people expect it every other like every half other moon. Date. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, I would just never say that to a guy like, oh, my ex used to do this for me. Why don't you do this? Even if I think that, I would not say it. <laughs> and some people like, oh, this is not my story, but there are a lot of stories <laughs> like this on the internet. Like, like during, during sex on bed, mm -hmm. like if one side is overly so good, like te uh -huh. techni technically, yes. if she's a technician or he's a technician, <laughs> Like the one side, like one side would say like, oh, where did you learn this from? You know? Ah, like, yes. People say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that implies that you're you, an expert. Yeah, you're an expert and you... But wouldn't you want your partner to be like good rather than like... Yeah, I don't, give an, I don't give an F or whatever, <laughs> but like there are a lot of jokes about this because uh, like, you know, okay, this is getting 19 plus. So if you're... <laughs> we're turning into the... The adult portion yeah, of the if stream you're, now. Yeah, if you're under 19, Age? go away. Go away. But like, <laughs> there's a classic one. There's a classic one. So on the internet, it's like, if a girl like does like the doggy position, you know, <laughs> you, I, 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 okay, we're all adults, right? We're all adults. We talk about this like the kind of stuff offline. <laughs> Do we? Online. I don't know. I don't know. But like on internet forums, it says like if if a girl does the doggy position and she knows how to bend her, like her, <laughs> what, do you, what is what is it like her, her back? Her back. <laughs> she's a very experienced person, but like it's natural instinct. No, but uh, apparently a lot of girls are just like very stiff and like just, you know, do this or like are their their backs are curved. But if they're very smooth like a dolphin, like, you know, and then they, they only put up their you know, <laughs> ass. That behinds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then like some people are like, the, these kind of stories occur because like in these forums, they're like, I have a question. Like my girlfriend sweared to me that she's like, you know, She's never met someone before and she doesn't have any experience, but w we went to the motel together and she knows how to manipulate all these air conditioning <laughs> and like she knows there's like uh, water in the fridge and stuff and she knows how to What's bend, the point of pretending? bend her back and she's so natural with it. Like I think she's <laughs> lying and then people are like 100% dude, you're getting, yeah, you know. <laughs> What's the point of lying about these things? I don't understand. <laughs> like a dolphin. <laughs> Okay, oh my god, this is getting very 19 plus. <laughs> I told you, I gave you a disclaimer. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, um, I mean, I, I guess guys care. Do you care if like she seems too good in bed? No. Yeah. I mean, I'd be like, thank you. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm just kidding. Hey, I'm a Christian guy. <laughs> I think that, uh, like, it's much better than a starfish who has no idea what they're doing. Mm hmm. For real. She watched a vlog maybe. What kind of <laughs> vlog? vlog what kind of vlog do you have to watch? To like on Pornhub or something? A yoga vlog. 
<laughs> uh, but some people, I mean, that kind of person might just come that we're all, we're like animals. <laughs> it just might come naturally, you know? Yeah, some people are born that yeah. ways, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I've heard from a lot of people that, like, you know, if you're inexperienced, that's like, that's like an indicator of whether the person is experienced or not. Like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like, it's like in uncomfortable for the guy to do that if, like, you're, you don't bend your back. If the girl's, like, you know, in a curved shape with her back, you know. Okay, let's not get into the <laughs> details. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry if you guys are uncomfortable with this topic, but. Um, yeah. <laughs> Natural talent, exactly. Mm. Exactly. But yeah, I, yeah, back to that topic. I mean, I don't care about the excess. I don't give a shit. You don't care? No. Okay. Who's dating me now? <laughs> Okay. I don't care. It's just, I think it's like Tajong of like self. Oh, I know a story. What? Okay, so okay. um, like there's this person I knew, and uh, she had a, she met a boyfriend, and uh, she found out later that her boyfriend's ex was a cam girl. <gasps> Explain to them what a cam girl is. Like a like a kind of like only an OnlyFans. Fans yeah, like her his, his, his ex girlfriend was an OnlyFans girl, and that girl was very famous on oh. the internet. So uh, yeah, she found out that, and then she came to us, almost like crying, mm. and then said like, "I'm so disappointed with him. Like, I feel like," and I did. I couldn't understand that at all, honestly. Mm. She was like so hurt. Like, why would he hide that from me? And I also I didn't know he was that kind of person. He liked that kind of people. I understand but, him hiding it from her. Yeah, I understand hiding it, but like, is it that much of a big problem? That someone dated an OnlyFans person before or a cam girl before, mm. and I, I don't know. Like she was kind of dividing herself with those kind of people. Like I don't associate myself with those people. I think I'm different. Like you know. What was she doing on? Like was she having like the? Was she doing the deed with people? Or was just like a solo? Shit. What, what was she doing? What's a? What, what do you mean doing a deed with people? Like was she like doing, doing the deed on live? Oh yeah, I don't know the details, but, the but details. obviously she was a very famous cam girl and she was doing sexy dances and like, you know, boo flashing and stuff and that kind of stuff. To be honest, I think I would judge too. If my You just said you don't care your ex like No, but that's like him having a lot of relationships with people, yeah. but him dating a cam girl, I think that's slightly different. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because it's like I was like, what does that have to do, you know? Like It's the matter of the profession and like uh it's like the um, Hmm. You're willing to, you know that she does this like for the entire public, and you're really you are still wanting to, I don't know. Maybe I need to think about this. How yeah. Do I so I this? was very like, what advice should I give on this? Like honestly, I what I said in the moment was like, you know, as you said, the past is the past. Like your boyfriend probably met her somewhere, and she must have, must have been a good girl. You know, like mm. you can't judge a book by a person by just their uh, cover and you know she might have just been doing that for a living or whatever and she was like not buying it she was like no like if if because yeah for example i would not want to date a cam guy who was doing that yeah you wouldn't want to date that person directly but yeah like, but so it tells me a little bit about the person mm. who is willing to date that kind of person mm. yeah that's that was her logic yeah. but i at the moment i didn't understand but, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to date a cam guy who performs every day for lots of people like that. Yeah. So if you're, but still, if your person's willing to date that kind of person who's like, you know, showing themselves to everybody on public every day, then I'll be like, oh, okay. That's, yeah. that's my, that would be my problem. With I it. guess. Yeah. Anna judgmental. That's true. <laughs> judgmental. Anna. I'm sorry. <laughs> would David be okay with it? I, I think it depends. It depends. But uh, I. I don't think. Imagine dating an AV actress, a porn star. I don't. I don't think it would matter that much for me. Really, you think you could do it? Yeah. As long as she doesn't have STDs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I. I mean, it would bug me. It would bug me. But if I dearly loved the person and we were compatible in personalities and stuff. The good would overshadow the like. You know, it would. It would. If she's breaking in the monies. No, I'm not talking about dating an OnlyFans girl. I'm talking about a girl dating that dated a... Actress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. think you can? Uh, 
it would be hard, but so I. So even try. when she's like sleeping with you, you know that if she just came from a shoot and she slept with like five other dudes that same day, and she's like, no, I'm too tired. I don't want to do it with you. Wouldn't that that would affect you? No. No, the, you're you're <laughs> assuming that she's an AV actress. No. Yeah, because if I, we're talking about dating an AV actress. Okay, now could, we're at that. Yeah, do you think you could date? Not even an ex. Um. I don't it, think I it could. It would be really hard. It I don't be, think I could, yeah. It would be really hard. No. Um, yeah, that, that would be... Like, being a professional actor is different because it's all pretend. Yeah, an um, AV actress is kind of, you know, like, I, I couldn't, honestly. No, and she's like, she's sick of doing the deed with her co-star. She's not going to come yeah, home and be I, like, I, I want to do it with you too. <laughs> it's not that I'm judgmental towards them. It's, it's the fact that, as you said, like, when we're doing the deed, <laughs> It would keep on popping in my mind and that would irritate me too much so yeah that's a hell no hell no yeah. yeah but if it's the ex problem like if it's her ex or like you know really uh, i don't know so if your ex if your current girlfriend said my ex-boyfriend was, was like a porn actor porn actor and he was huge <laughs> yeah I, I think that would be you know <laughs> i i could maybe think about it you know? <laughs> Not for me, not for me. Okay. <laughs> not for Anna. <laughs> David's okay. face is. I don't red. think David could do it. <laughs> no, I don't think you could either. There's no Danny could never. He's way too jealous. Okay, let's lighten the subject a little bit. If your if your ex, uh, let's say if, if oh so we're not talking about partners, but uh, if you're if you if your current boyfriend had an ex that. Um, that had a criminal record. Like how bad of a criminal record? <laughs> like she went to jail, but he he stopped by her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did she like kill children? Like no, 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 no. Like okay, <laughs> like, let's say depends on the crime. Let's say uh, a heroin addict. And her boyfriend stopped by her. Yeah. I think maybe I would try to be understanding because like you, you really love this person and you want to help them get out of their addiction mm. and then you try to stick by them then I would, okay. don't think I would judge that But wouldn't you assume maybe he did heroin too? I mean you don't know, I mean I'm, I'm only going to trust like what he tells me What can I... Okay, yeah, what okay, can I? next <laughs> <laughs> Yes What is this stream? <laughs> next news Oh my god, the FUBAO thing. Oh yes, yes, let's this do that. So, That's insane. This is insane. We talked about it on like our Korean Net Live a little bit. Oh, but, like, this is insane. So like there's there was a panda in Korea, the most famous animal in Korea probably over the past like few years. His name was FUBAO. And if you guys don't- It's a girl. It's a girl, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a very cute- You're gonna get cancelled by the FUBAO moms. Oh my moms. god, the FUBAO fans. This is a huge oh, fandom. Oh, this is crazy. Um, so if you guys don't know, all pandas belong to China. They're property of China. Mm -hmm. So China loans them out to other countries for right. like a few years. and then But then they always have to be returned. Yeah. And so FUBAO was living in one of Korea's like zoos. Mm. Uh, and it was so publicly loved. There are so many videos on YouTube and Instagram. like. Yeah. People are like going there and like and like so but then recently they had to be uh, she had to be returned back yeah. and there was like an actual I saw the videos of like crowds of people who came and they're like oh you got crying see. their eyes they're out they're bawling their eyes out <laughs> I was like what? I'm not exaggerating like not way. exaggerating though. And he's like making a farewell speech. It seems like a funeral. It was it like, was a, like and a it was raining, and there was like a bus for her, yeah. passed with like her face. Yeah. And, and literally, lines of people were there. Like, <gasps> I can't relate to this as a MBTIT. I cannot I relate cannot to this. Either. Like, I I can relate with the zookeeper. Like, yeah, because he's the one that like basically was her dad. Took care for her yeah. for like it's like sending off your dog. Your your child. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But these people who just saw, the, saw her from a bar internet, like yeah. occasionally yeah. every other I don't know how much they actually went to see her or not. They but came and they I were said, bawling their eyes out. It's a freaking panda. <laughs> it's not even ours. It's, it's not yours. <laughs> it's a freaking diplomatic material sent from China. It's BS. <laughs> Like they they wanna you know settle diplomatic causes with the panda. Legit, it out. was crazy. They're taking it back. I'm gonna try to find the video. Okay, it's a lovely creature, but like I don't really understand like the 
crying and like you know everyone sent messages to it like posted it on instagram yeah, like yeah. to about always be healthy and blah 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 and you know there's this news that came out so Fubao returned to uh, China and they're trying to like because China uh, pandas are very like almost at the verge of extinction mm. they're trying to like mate and like reproduce yeah, yeah. so they uh, they they match these two people out uh, like, the two pandas the together two pandas people. Off. <laughs> <laughs> they, they look like people you know but Fubao is on the right she looks very clean and well you know managed but the other dude on the right like he's covered with dirt and like so people on the internet, like the K netizens, mm -hmm. actually went out on their way making petitions to return Fubao because she's the not being though. treated well and she's saying that the the partner panda looks like a beggar. Look like an ajoshi. <laughs> looks like an ajoshi, a middle-aged man yeah, and a beggar and filthy. Yeah. And Fubao doesn't deserve that because she's a princess. Oh my god. These people are they need to do something better with that time like i mean i i guess they're not hurting anybody so. they're, it's like their own thing so i have all respect to like i don't know anime fans k-pop fans football fans and like panda fans okay mm -hmm. yeah i i can understand that but like with my mind yeah no like i can't yeah so all these people came and mm -hmm. like were crying their eyes out it's He's it's literally keeper. crazy let me actually show you Wait, uh, oh my god, I, I cannot relate to this. This is like <laughs> you guys need to see how many how much they were crying. And so many people turned up. It was crazy. Yeah, uh, like I, I'm, I'm like, kind of careful because like people have their actual faces on and I'm I don't want to get sued, so yeah, I'll just Oh but the when their babies is cute. Cute. <laughs> yeah, people were literally like there it was on the news for a while yeah, because yeah. like it was ridiculous. People were like <laughs> These people. Oh, the the funniest thing. Uh, uh, keep on talking. Keep okay. on talking. I mean, yeah, pandas are cute. I kind of want one too, but like, <laughs> I mean, I rarely cry, so I just uh, this was just madness to me. <laughs> There's so many people coming to say goodbye. Oh, oh okay. My God. <laughs> I can't really. So this is like kind of um, this is kind of you know harsh words. Yeah. But I don't stand for this kind of wording but what, what did they say so like if you look here it says try to try to tell who's fubao you fucking <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's like i dare you i i challenge you to pick who fubao is among these three among pandas, these pandas and i bet like all my money that i you can't would... tell they all look the same and, and like if you can <laughs> actually distinguish who fubao is you have the right to cry but i can <laughs> bet that you don't know who fubao is <laughs> So people are mocking people and they're like, you know, you know, who the hell is Fubao? And uh yeah. What the heck? You think the panda was a spy? <laughs> what? No, Fubao is not a spy. <laughs> it's not a Chinese spy. Yeah, like Jesper, Jesper, the intellectual stepped in. He's okay, thank you, Jesper, again. Panda diplomacy is a real thing for China. They use it all over the world. Yeah, it is a diplomatic it's a political, tool. Yeah. 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 Um, it's like a sign of goodwill and yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, well, someone said something funny. So neither Karina nor Fubao was is allowed to date. Tom Merritt says <laughs> neither Karina nor Fubao is allowed to date. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, yeah. People so it's have extreme pretty control. similar to K-pop fandoms. And yeah, yeah. Same with um Otani, why he kept his uh, Japanese media are crazy. Yeah. That's why he kept his girlfriends, his wife, hidden for such a long time because mm. they can be brutal. Yeah. The breakup actual relationships, how they did with Karina. Yeah. Yeah. I always say this, like you know, like. Being a fan is okay, but being a fanatic is yeah. kind of... Let's know. live in the real world. Let's yeah. not be the Lulu. Yeah, I mean, it's a lovely bear, but <laughs> it's, it's a bear. You know? We, we can't, no, we can't not, relate to this. Yeah, people were no. like, I bet these people probably didn't uh, cry like that at, at her grandfather's funeral or something like that. Yeah, no, I cannot relate to this. It's a cute panda, of course. Yeah, of course. it's a cute panda. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and in the meantime, like speaking of super chats, paypal.me <laughs> slash. I saw a comment saying, like, we need to cheer up David with the PayPal stuff, so. Oh! You need to dance. <laughs> you pledged that you would dance. You, you would do a dance. If somebody sends me in, like, another. <laughs> wow! Capitalism. 
capitalism, but <laughs> paypal.me slash Korean Pizza Club. It doesn't take commission like YouTube, <laughs> although the currency rate is shit. Like the, the US dollar is so high, it's 1,371 yeah, right, right now. now. It's crazy. So yeah, but like PayPal takes like a big, big chunk mm. with the currency. But anyways, paypal.me. <laughs> <laughs> I will do mini dances for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, um... <laughs> okay, well, we're done with the fubao thing. Yeah, we're done with the fubao yeah, thing. Yeah, so we have no sympathy at all with no. those people. But I remember David used to be on INFP, but I think since hanging out with like a lot of other T's, he has, and also just living life, he has turned into more rational. I mean, I flip flop between P and T, like I, it's 49, 40, 50 once, mm. something like that, mm. but I, I cannot relate with the fubao thing. <laughs> like, that's too much. I'm not P enough to cry over a panda. Yeah. And I must say, if I just spilled like a little tea on like my like dating life over the past like year or two years or whatever, yeah. I'm more used to like the, because I'm very logical, rational, I'm very direct and like, you know, mm -hmm. like no nonsense. Usually the type of guys, my ex was the same, like we're very the similar types. Yeah. So when I meet a guy who's like super like emotion and like has so much empathy and like what if i say something i'm just yeah. like stating as a matter of fact but he's so like oh. like he he gets more emotionally like affected th than me that i'm like that's kind of not kind of i'm just it's just i'm not used to it at all so i'm just like this is bizarre to me, to me. it gets kind of tiring sometimes <laughs> like i i honestly don't empathize but like if the person is like super very passionate about mm. the, like fubao <laughs> in front of me if someone's crying because of a panda and talking about that panda i don't know how to react 20 minutes yeah, exactly yeah i'm like okay <laughs> how should yeah. i do what should i do for you yeah, like, uh, yeah you seem sad yeah for example like even you know sometimes like when i had like the 4b controversy like last week i mean for me like i just you guys know i like i don't care like i'm just like yay engagement mm. <laughs> like comment but then like, if i tell like someone like my cousin who's very like emotionally affected by this kind of thing she's like oh, she's like oh my god are you okay like and she makes more of a huge deal than out of it i mean i'm like i'm right. genuinely fine right. but then i'm like shocked by her reaction yeah I'm like yeah, yeah. no seriously like it's okay <laughs> like but yeah, she's like, like do you want me to call my husband lawyer like do you what? <laughs> Overreacting. Yeah, seriously. So, if I, especially when in terms of dating, if a guy is slightly too much this way, I'm a bit like, I don't think is yeah, we can't. I can't. Why relate. are you setting like you know gender role, gender <laughs> expectations? A guy can be like that. That's he can true. be emotional too. But I mean, I get the told things like oh, you seem quite like you have like masculine energy as well. So people say that sounds kind of thing to me. Yeah. As well. So. I, I mean, in Korea, we're tamed. Like guys are conditioned. Like, I mean, it is true that generally, on the whole, women are slightly more emotional. On they tend to yeah, be yeah, yeah, than yeah. guys. Of course, it's a thing. Of course, but I'm less that way. I'm genuinely, yeah. I'm more masculine. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, that's a lot to do with like stoicism, though. Okay. The philosophy. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Tuan for the twenty on PayPal. Woo! Pizza, pizza. Oh, I don't like the description though. It says cats are cooler. <laughs> No, I will fight it. Admit, her. admit, he just sent you a thing. He just admit that cats are cooler. It's probably a she, anyways, but. Um, okay, since you gave me 20, I will admit that cats are a little bit cool. Oh my they, god. They're a little Selling bit cool. Your soul. No, they're a little oh, bit cool, but dogs are still superior. <laughs> cats have their. Have some cats have their uh, attractive voices. Okay. Okay. That, no, no, because I was watching some like, really cute dog videos yesterday. I will, okay. I will show you afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next topic. I don't think we have much left, but um, <laughs> yeah, there's this stupid news about Koreans having pet stones. Stones. I mean, people do that in America, like with. Do crystals. they? Crystals. They believe in crystals. And they're pets. I mean, okay. How in how are they pets? What's the story? They're literally petting stones. What do you mean? See, like, see how the idea is bizarre? They talk to these stones, they treat them as pets, they paint them, they seat them on like oh. chairs and stuff. Really? Yeah. I, I think people have too much time nowadays. Okay, I understand you can have this hobby and it's, you know, your life, you can choose what you can do, but like... They believe it's like, it's like Lucky Charm good fortune it's kind of like people having crystals they believe it will bring them good energy in the house 
Yeah, it's the same. I mean, if you're living in the 21st century and you have, you know... I mean, why not? There are so many worse hobbies you could be doing. This is quite wholesome and it's not <laughs> harming anyone. <laughs> of course, I, I know. And it's not expensive, is it? These are these. It's expensive? not, but like if you met a boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> that, that has... That says, like, I have a pet at home, and then you went, and it's a stone, and he's literally, like, tapping it, like, oh, oh, my, my dear, my, like, let's say it's Skippy. Skippy, <laughs> Skippy, I'm home. Like, were you well? And then, like, he, he gives him water, and then, like, no, that's a like, bit paints too it much. and stuff, yeah. and, like, puts it in the comfy cushion, and, like, we, we no, do... nobody actually does that. You can have them as collectibles. That's, that, the... that's what they're saying. It's pet stones. No, I'm sure nobody actually like talks to them and like puts it on a chair and like, no. There's, there's <laughs> evidence! But like... that's just for a photo shoot! That's not, that's, they can't be. I can, I understand people doing, um, collecting them as collectibles. Okay. It's like collecting like, like Legos, you know, this kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pet rock is harming my Yeah, no food and... bills. They, they, it's like really not an expensive pet. <laughs> You don't need to walk it. That's true. They don't poop or They don't pee. poop. They don't cry. Nothing. So I guess there are worse things you could be doing. But I think that's fine. I don't uh, care about what that. has Korea become to? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you hating on stones? No, uh, okay. Well, what's this? Let's talk about this. Oh, uh, yeah. I wanted to talk about this. Okay. Let's so uh, this. Korean Air Business Class passenger claims he was treated like Crap, and unlike the idol group members. So apparently this person was on business class okay. and there was an other, other idol, like idol members on business because uh -huh. they fly business too. Yeah. And business is expensive. It's yeah, like like two, like $3,000 or 5,000 or something yeah, to go to them. Yeah, said like almost 2,000. Yeah, 2,000 yeah. like that. So you'll expect some kind of service. service. Yeah. But like if there's an idol there, like mm -hmm. apparently the flight attendants kind of gave- Ignore. Ignored the other uh, the passenger mm. and like kind of gave more mm. service to the idols. Mm. I don't know why. Maybe mm. they they were I don't, the fans or whatever. Yeah. But then uh, he claimed that he was treated like shit and this is unfair. Mm. So he wants like a refund or something. And I, I get it. I get it. Like you know, you're he spending. Said the male head flight attendant only greeted the idol, saying thank you for flying with us and we will make sure to take good care of you. Um, he would continuously announce, excuse me, before opening the private door for the idol members. However, at my seat, the door was just abruptly opened. <laughs> a drink was placed without any acknowledgement and I encountered multiple instances of discourteous behavior. <laughs> After enjoying a cocktail, I ordered another one. When I praised the taste, saying, you made this very well, the female flight attendant responded dismissively with a, oh, okay, conveying a nonchalant attitude as she was wow. saying, so what, that let me... Maybe he's like projecting a Maybe little bit. He's... It sounds like he's like twisting everything in his head a little. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. yeah, maybe he's petty. I think he is. Yeah. He's like kind of, his insecurities are just like coming out. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's like, I expected proper service for the premium I paid. It's infuriating to feel discriminated. Can you say that's discrimination? Like... <laughs> I mean, if BTS is next to you, it's just and normal. you're flying business, that's just normal. They're not, yeah, it's... It's just human nature. Yeah, it's human nature to get more... Like, I understand if she, like, re-discriminated, like, just didn't serve him, yeah. or, like, just, like... A throw a tissue. Yeah, but she thing. just served him, but she just... She just said more things to the idols. Yeah, I mean, if <laughs> I don't think that's discrimination. I can't speak on his behalf, but if, if he was actually felt discriminated, and, like, if that was actually the case, then mm. there is a problem with that. And, like, people who fly business, mm. I... I, I I can't I can't like generalize everybody, mm -hmm. but I would say that they're pretty you know chill people, you know, or yeah. maybe some people are Karens, but yeah. yeah. And I would say I mean, I mean this is the one thing that's like good about fame. Mm. If, if people know you, they will if they like you, they will treat you nicer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Whereas if you're just like um, in most other ways, just being having lots of money but no fame is usually the better, obviously mm. the much better way. But sometimes having fame is, is clout. And people will treat you a certain way when they already know who you are, you know? Yeah, this person said maybe the passenger was ugly. No, he was just not an idol. <laughs> ugly they... people do get treated like shit in Korea over handsome and pretty. That's true. I mean, there is no evidence to suggest that. It's just like he was just like a normie and the idols were famous. That's the only difference. Yeah, but like this, this is actually a very good comment to talk about because in Korea, we all like 
the the West or like the international audience just doesn't understand the obsession on visuals and appearance mm -hmm. in Korea, right? Everybody's like so obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. But there's a saying, there's like a social context where people say appearance and visuals are is your skill is your skill and ability too. Yeah. And that's how you survive in society. That's how mm. society works. That's mm. human nature. Mm. So it's just smart mm. to take care of yourself mm. and try to look good. Mm. And, and and if that goes to like overboard, then mm. it's just like plastic surgery, doing yeah. everything and stuff. Yeah. But like to some extent, everyone wants to look clean, professional, like slim, I guess. And uh, that's it's not just unique to Korea, but like, it's just Korea is just very um, no nonsense and direct about it. But yeah. it's just like you will get treated better by other people. People generally perceive a good looking person as more capable, more intelligent, yeah. better personality. It's just what all humans do when drawn yeah. to good looking things, beautiful art, beautiful people. It's just human nature. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, Jesper, again. Oh, Jesper, why are you hanging yeah. out there? Yeah, come to my well, channel. Well, I, I can't blame you because you, <laughs> you you subscribe to my Patreon, so like I'm thankful for okay. that. Maybe through this stream, I may be becoming an Anna fan more than David! What? <laughs> why? Why, Jesper? Why? <laughs> because I am charming. <laughs> He's a guy. Stay on my <laughs> channel. <laughs> hey! Hey, Ross, thank you for the... Hundred. Wow. David is happy. <laughs> David is happy. Pizza, pizza. Um, you should apply moisturizer before your Zoom yes. call. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, don't you have to do your Zoom call? Yeah, let's do my Zoom okay. call. Oh, I, I, I think we can do it when you leave or like end the live. Okay. But, anyways, yeah. But speaking of visuals and appearance, mm -hmm. like, uh, you, you know, like, what do you call it? Um, Someone says I'd be fluffing BTS pillows. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, oh my God. But this is exactly the topic I was speaking to the German reporter about, and uh -huh. um, this exact. He he just could not understand why uh, it's uh, so importance is placed on looks. And I was like, oh, it's just every every place is. It's just people are a lot more like skirting around the subject in other countries, but yeah. it's just a lot more like we yeah. live in don't live in a delulu world. If you're better looking, you're more likely to get ahead in mm. work and. That's true. Relationships, That's everything. True. So. But like one, one. Th I don't think like as uh, as one of my viewers say, like um, pursuing good looking is that even wrong? Like everybody doesn't everybody want that? Like yeah, I understand yeah. too. But sometimes, sometimes you know, it, this is kind of very. This is tricky. But if you look, if you fly Korean Air or any Korean airline, you will notice that the flight attendants are dazzling. Yeah. They are like supermodels, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I think they're even prettier. Some are even prettier than actual like celebrities or yeah. supermodels. You have to you have to have like a height uh, requirement, weight requirement. Yeah. You have to be because they consider you like you're the face of the company. We're right. serving international customers. Right. You have to be good looking. And for international flights, it's mostly not that case because mm -hmm. there I've I've seen like middle aged women or like you know men like not that in shape being oh, like other airlines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. you know, like American ones or yeah, like yeah. international ones. But like Korean Air, it's super strict and yeah. it's very well known for like their beautiful flight attendants. Yeah, That's yeah. an objective. So fact. a lot of Korean guys would be like, I want to date a flight attendant. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like flight attendants are a dream job for girls here mm. as well mm. as well as like it's a dream partner for guys as well. Mm. They're like fantasized a lot, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. because they're so pretty and they're so like you know. Yeah. And honestly, like these girls. Um, it, why it's like pursued as a dream job is because because they're like so fantasized and to looked good as like a lot of like rich people that mm. fly business approach them they have a lot mm. of like opportunities to meet meet like you know um, you know able capable people yeah, yeah. in society yeah. so they always they usually end up dating or marrying a very rich guy mm -hmm. that's what that's the case i've seen mm -hmm. and there is some kind of like stereotypical toxic culture inside like i've heard like you know because like there's an inflation of who they date mm -hmm. it's like a competition on between like oh your your guy drives a bentley and he, he uh... comes to this airport like your guy drives a mm -hmm. mercedes and it's like that but like going back to the topic again wait wait someone's like kwan he dated a flight attendant yeah, like it. Sickles yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. uh, thank you, Lee Joyce, for the twenty dollars. Love watching your video, Anna and David. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Show some love for me too. <laughs> <laughs> but like, 
if you look at their uh, interview sessions here, like some people criticize that it's kind of old fashioned and mm. like, you know, looking too much on the looks mm. is, you know, it's too overboard mm. for the flight attendants. You know, they're very pretty and they're very pleasing to see mm. for people, but like, people are like, you know, we're kind of past that age where flight attendants need to be very like, visually stunning or mm -hmm. you know um attractive and like it, it's it, the beauty standards are just crazy for flight attendants so i mean i mean i kind of understand where it's coming from like you have to be, you're presenting i mean it's a, like the airline yeah you want to present your best self and you're, you're that you're like service to you like how mm. do you say like uh you work in retail is do you say you work in retail in this case no service yeah but yeah you're serving customers and it's just like they want to put a good impression so i kind of understand yeah 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 so there have been uh inner voices that says like the 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 cost the uniform, the uniform of uh flight attendants and the it's restrictions is sexualizing and um the the the, uh, their standards are um, unifying mm. the beauty standards. Mm. Yeah. So, um, and they're forcing too much feminine mm. uh, traits to I mean, flight attendants. I think the bows, this around the neck, is kind of unnecessary. Yeah. So there's it like seems a so uncomfortable. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So people are saying like they should uh, allow them to have like more comfortable clothes, mm. like. You know, it's yeah, they not have to wear like like a slight heels for safety purposes too. Yeah. So protocol. Have you ever dated a, a flight attendant? No, no, never. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, girls also. I think girls, a lot of girls have fantasized about like pilots. It's mm. the uniform thing. I think it's the uniform thing. Mm -hmm. It's just like they look. Oh, what you saw? Like firefighters, pilots, yeah, sailors. <laughs> <laughs> this kind Everyone of fantasizes police. about uniforms. Yeah, police, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, when you're like a authority, yeah, yeah. that kind of is, it's like a turn on. Yeah, yeah. authority. Why? <laughs> okay. Why? Okay, so uh, other than that, I don't think uh, we have more news. Yeah, this was a very, it got very 19 restricted stream in the middle. In the middle, I'm sorry about that, but. And what hopefully guys, seen? next week I would have moved into my new place and I'll be slightly less frazzled. Yeah, and uh, M, are you still there? If oh you, yes, let's do this. Let's do the Zoom call. If you're comfortable being uh, present in front of currently 300 people, <laughs> I don't know how you'll handle that, but let's do it. I'll send you a Zoom link. Oh wow. And if you tell me, tell me the ID, then I will um, let you in. Yeah, so I haven't done this in a while. You on the pilot's old man. Okay, in my mind, it's like a good-looking pilot. I want to be a pilot. David, I literally David want genuinely to wants to be a pilot. Yeah. yeah. If if YouTube doesn't work out, my business doesn't work out. I'm genuinely thinking of becoming a yeah. pilot because it's not an office job. It's reputable. It's reputable. It, reputable. Yeah, it has reputable. a good salary. You if can travel, you travel around the world. You work with lovely people, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's not a. It's not a hard job, obviously. Like, oh, and I also um, booked an appointment to get laser eye surgery in okay. like two weeks' time because I just want to be able to have. I mean, right now we're in context. My eye vision is not that bad. It's like minus one point seven and minus two point two on okay. here. It's not terrible, but I'm kind of I'm just like I've, I've been thinking about getting LASIK done for ages and ages. And uh -huh. now, and they call me and they're like, if you even the consultation to see if you can even get the LASIK, it takes two hours. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god! So I'm going to I'm going to do the consultation at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. But seriously, how is it mid April already? We're like almost May. We're like almost halfway throughout the year. It's like mind boggling to me. Okay, I I will send you the link. She wants you to stay. If it's your freedom, but I can. I will stay. Yeah, I'll send you the link. P people, don't troll and don't enter the link. I don't know if I can actually. Yeah, only make you what enter. If people, what if those people enter the link? Yeah. I don't think anybody would be willing to do like a video call in front of three hundred people, right? Maybe. Yeah, but uh, 
Uh, the problem is I won't be it doesn't really matter if you're watching the YouTube stream because like my OBS and zoom doesn't allow me it to use the work. same cameras yeah. at the same time so I won't be showing my face on the zoom but you'll have to look on the YouTube screen but I'll be seeing your face on zoom and uh, do you want your face shown on the live stream tell me and I'll, I'll put it there yeah LASIK is so cheap that yeah it is I think it's just like a thousand dollars around there thousand mm. dollars which is really not much so everything's very cheap yeah here all the beauty treatments everything i do need to pee soon tmi again yeah that was pretty tmi <laughs> i didn't take my meds this morning anyway thank you michelle for the five dollars love your videos anna david please dance il 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 magnetic you have to magnetic you have to super again. chat in my channel <laughs> Like how? That's not how it works. Thank you, Michelle. That's not how for it works. Liking my videos. <laughs> kill, kill. <laughs> so I sent you the link, M. It's in the chat over here. Uh, anytime you can enter. Oh, I had no idea they were hype. Island, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I keep getting confused with uh, Island and I Chillin. There's too many groups nowadays. Mm. Yeah. So M, anytime. Once you're here, just waiting for M and I will end the stream afterwards. Zoom call. I, I should maybe do this uh, more often with subscribers and what viewers. Okay, I'll make your face as uh, Wait, small is she, as possible. Is she actually coming in though? I think so. She's disappeared. Oh, did she, did she shy away? <laughs> I'll put you in the middle here. <laughs> Tim, where are you? Where are you at? Isn't it not working? Okay. Rachel is here. Yes. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'll have to unmute to... Here, let me turn off the jazz. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear her, but... Which LASIK clinic do you use? I will obviously film and make content from it. I'm not... I'm paying with my own money, but I will obviously... Film my whole experience, so don't worry. I'll let everyone Hello. know. Hello. Oh my god. Hello, Rachel. Hi. 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 Can you? See? Yeah, you're probably seeing us on YouTube, right? I th I see your little pizza logo. Oh. I don't see your face yet. Yeah, Wait, yeah. So are you M? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, why are you Rachel? Rachel. But my name on YouTube is Emkara. Uh, no one ever says it right, but that's cool. Emkara. <laughs> Emkara. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yes, well, Emkara, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, uh, I think like Zoom has that like this firewall or something that doesn't show um, your face on on the OBS, so I don't think people will be able to see your face. Yeah, but they but, can hear it. But you can say hi for a moment. Hi, this is M. Hi, uh, this hi, is Rachel. Everybody. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we're talking right now. Um, nice to see you. Glad to see you. Finally. Wow, yeah, we should do this like every week. Yeah. With, like one person. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you doing? I'm good. It's it's so hot here. It was 97 degrees today. 97? Oh, do you I, live? That's Fahrenheit. So I was like, that's yeah, near that's boiling not point. <laughs> okay, Wait, yeah, you're in, oh, she's yeah, in no, South Carolina. South yeah. Carolina. South Carolina, right? SC. Yes, I, I recognize your southern it's accent. Really humid, here. humid. It's really humid here. Don't visit in the summer. Oh. Don't Do not come in the summer. You will be so miserable. No offense, but I don't think I have a lot of occasions to visit South Carolina. Where is South Carolina future. in the map? Honestly, I can't point it out right now. It's is in it the like... east, right? No. No? It's in the south. Oh yeah, southeast. Like the eastern part of, of the south, right? Right, right, right. Near yeah, near oh, Florida. Florida. Yeah, so okay. that was what I mean. But okay. yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> what did you want to talk about on Zoom? How old are you, Rachel? Um, I just turned thirty in October. Thirty in October. Yeah. So you're 92, 92, 93? No, no, ninety-three. Ninety-three. Okay. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah. This is kind of funny. So there's two members in BTS who have like a seven age gap with so min yoongi he's seven months <laughs> older than me okay and my birthday is seven days before jimin 
And I got to see BTS at the City Field concert, which was on my birthday. So she's army. She's army. They're army for sure. I can show that. Like, okay, let I... me ask a question. Mm. If you could yeah. go on a date, like a real date, like like dinner date, let's say, with any of the uh -huh. BTS members or David, <laughs> who would you choose? Are you? <laughs> That is not even a question. I a BTS member. <laughs> why did you even? Why, well, did you want to publicly hang me or something? Like, why would you ask that? I couldn't still ask the question. Yeah. But hey, when it doesn't work out because I'm not fluent in Korean, then then we can go on a date. Wow, I'm like the I'm like the insurance plan. Wow, I'm the backup. Oh Namjoon, my God. Namjoon can speak English. <laughs> Uh, oh my god so well, yeah say. it's finally great to see you in person you know like although it's zoom yeah thanks thanks always yeah. for tuning in in my lives and patreon yeah, and everything. yeah every week yeah yeah it's really big okay. big support what time I is know, over that is it not you guys a super chat every week if i can but sometimes my account won't work and it won't send you, <laughs> send you one Aww. and i'm like dang it and then people are like, just send a super chat. And I'm like, I'm trying. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah, okay, I definitely, it's okay. I definitely remember seeing your, your nickname like every week. So yeah, yeah, very definitely. grateful. Yeah. yeah. And uh, people are like, lol, second choice. David's the backup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I mean, BTS is pretty hard to beat, I mean, you know? That would be a once in a lifetime opportunity. You can't blame me. I know, I, I know. know. Would you want to spend a day with Rachel or V? I know you would pick V. <laughs> yeah, you would pick V too. I, know, I, don't, I don't blame you. I don't either. So let's agree that Anna is the devil here. She put us up. She stirred the pot. Yeah. It was a fair enough question. Yeah. You just wanted to stir the pot. It's 10.20 10, 10, p.m. 10.20 in, in Texas. Texas. It's okay. pretty late. It's pretty late. Yeah. What time do you usually sleep? Um... Probably before midnight. Before midnight. Okay, that's pretty early. I David sleep at sleeps. like three. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> now that's why I brought him the skincare so you can look less. Oh cold. yeah, like I got a super chat to do that. So what should I put on? I'll put on something. Do I have to put on something? Yeah. yeah. Put on the hyaluronic acid. Yeah, the what the hell is a hyaluronic acid? But the, just bring out the toner you just the put toner? on. The yeah. toner? This one? It, it yeah. gets moisture to your skin. Yeah, hyaluronic oh acid gosh. is found actually it's naturally so inside. So. My god, you're seeing me do this in real time. In real time for some reason. I can't see, I can't see you do it, so. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, you can, you can watch the YouTube live stream later, yeah. Oh, I'll Never. do it, yeah. She has like gigantic nails. 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 <laughs> okay, at least this one's not gonna be sticky, I think. Yeah, just chop, chop, chop. Yes. Ew. But don't screw up your, like, scrounge up your eyes while you do Ew. this. I could When you, guys, when you put on toner, when guys, they always, like, pull on their face massively, like, it's gently pat everywhere. Chop, chop, chop. I not this, they pat. Or sometimes they'll put it on and, like, hold it like this, and then, I, like, uh, go, and they'll, like, peel it off. Yeah, uh -huh. and also bring or out the eye some cream. people just put the pad on and then rip it off mm. like they're waxing their face or something. <laughs> Shall we still <laughs> about waxing okay, again? <laughs> put it on, it's not gonna do anything. Yeah. Bring out the eye cream. The eye no, cream. I don't want to put. No, eye that's cream. really refreshing. Oh my god. That's really refreshing. Okay, like. And he needs. He's in the dire need of this eye cream. <laughs> and, uh, Rachel, you can ask anything you want. Yes. In the meantime. Um. So you go like this. You squeeze. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you seem to have a lot of interesting <laughs> questions. Use this finger. I just. It okay. sounded like you told both. David to sneeze. <laughs> Here. You go like this and tap. Here? Yeah, but do not pull. Mm -hmm. Just tap, 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 tap. Okay, okay. Here, around the side and under your dark circles. Just okay. tap like this. Okay. David has I no idea how guys. to. What was your first impression of each other when you both met each other? Like, what? What did you first think? I thought she was weird. What? I thought she was weird because she was a Korean girl that spoke in British like, like <laughs> accent. I've never seen that before, honestly. It's kind of weird, you know. Like imagine a, a Korean girl speaking with a Southern accent. You know, that would be pretty weird. So my first impression yeah. of David and Danny, I was like, oh, they're both taller than I thought. Yeah, I that's thought, what people say. Yeah, I thought they would be short kings, <laughs> but they're they're quite tall. So 
<laughs> oh my god, David is yeah. absolutely clueless. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Go watch the live stream, but like, yeah, I'm just like putting all this stuff on my eyes. Yes. Yeah, whatever. No, you don't have to put it on your eyelid. Oh, really? <laughs> You just go tap, 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 tap under okay. your dark circles and <laughs> he's putting them on his eyelid. What the heck? It's eye cream. <laughs> Next he'll be putting it on his eyeballs. <laughs> Lucky Rachel can ask anything. Yeah, you can ask ask anything, yeah. Tony, I'm talking about you, you have the courage to Zoom call me up, so yeah, you get that special treatment. <laughs> So we, we should do this every week. Any more questions? Oh, oh I have I have another question. So David, mm -hmm. who do you think is like the most good looking celebrity you've ever met? Like out of all the people you've met, oh, in who real is life. the person you're like, man, they are so good looking uh, in real life. Well, I, I I mean, this is the obvious answer, but I've seen V at Hong Kong Mama yeah, yeah. when he was doing the red, red hair phase with oh. his red blazer jacket. That was on fire I, I saw him like this close he was crazy good looking but that's just the obvious answer because okay, what about girls girls the best looking girl you saw oh i saw twice as taehyung oh are you really and, liked her for a while yeah i liked her for a while you know taehyung right and she's she's like she's not like very super attractive or like very pretty Conventionally or anything. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. anything but her skin and like yeah it's so 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 <laughs> white and pale oh you want know? to get canceled for saying that <laughs> no why like she she did a lot of good skincare for that yeah and she's re really well known for that yeah and uh what, what are you saw all of twice Anna? who's hmm? the hottest celebrity you've ever met <sighs> hottest me? I mean, obviously, I saw VTS too, so they're up there. Um, in terms of females, I saw Song Ye Gyo, and I thought she was stunning. Song Ye Gyo, and I saw some members of Girls' Generation, like Jessica and Tiffany, but I was just like, oh, they're very skinny. That was my general impression. Mm. Um, oh, was Hana was lovely too. Yeah, I she, can imagine. She was very lovely. Mm. I I I I, I uh, fired her heart at her and she responded. Aww, so. she's full of egg. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, I mean, not outside of K-pop stars, I did do a handshake with Taylor Swift. So you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was lovely too. She was super tall. Yeah, she is tall. When was I this? think she was? She's like almost six feet tall. She yeah, was really tall. yeah. She, I think she was even taller than me. Was Maybe this like was... a mama? No, it was she's at the. Like six Foreign heels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... the BBMAs. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was super nice, but she her smile was really like you yeah, know. Yeah, she's very friendly. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was very friendly. Yeah, for me, in terms of like non-K-pop people, I met Tarzan from Physical Hundred. <laughs> this is like twice, and he's when you see him in person, it's very overwhelming. Mm. He doesn't look like a typical Korean guy. He looks mm. very like he does look like Tarzan. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. People were laughing about how Do you, you guys were... know who Cedric the Entertainer is? Have you heard of him? Who? Who? Cedric the Entertainer. He's a comedian. Cedric the Entertainer. No, uh, I haven't. Cedric yeah, the I met him once at an airport in Miami. Oh, really? Yeah. Cedric the Entertainer. We're typing it up right now. Oh. I never... Yeah, I, I haven't, but he gets a lot of views, so he must be really famous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, he's he's a popular comedian, but yeah, I met him in Miami mm -hmm. one time. Uh, I was, like, going on a school trip to Europe, and, like, we saw him there, and we, like, took a picture. But I don't have the picture since no one took it with my phone, so mm -hmm. you'll just have to take my word for it. I'll have but to yeah, check... he was really Nice. I'll have to check him out because people in the chat are saying he's really hilarious. Mm. Yeah, he's funny. And Chamo yeah, says Tarzan is so hot. Some of us thought he was CeeLo because he had like this red outfit on and it kind of looked like something CeeLo the single would wear. Oh, so yeah. some of us were like, is that CeeLo? And then we were like, it's Cedric the Entertainer. Oh. And like we went up and talked to him a little bit and then he took a photo with us and then like he and his security people, they like kept walking. Mm. I never seen him, but it seems like, okay, the Americans know Cedric is very famous. I've never heard of him, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never seen Yeah, that. like, I saw a TikTok yesterday of my friend. She made it, like, she's she said, like, she's quitting K being a K-pop fan because 
like these K-pop fans, they always want to meet their fans, but they don't get the chance to. But these random people in the airports get to meet like Lissera Fim or randomly walking by at the airports and stuff. And and that happened to me too. I'm a K-pop fan too, but like I once was on an airplane and I did not know the guys that next that sat next to me were mm-hmm. K-pop idols until I got out. Mm-hmm. And like the whole AB6 crew, the whole AB6 members were sitting literally next to me and I, I was like, no oh, there's idea. some there's some good looking Korean guys. And then <laughs> I went off the plane and then people told me they were AB6. So I was like, wow, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Do you feel more refreshed? People who need the celebrities. It's, it wasn't like it was an accident. Like, they planned it. Mm. Like, because some people, like, stalk the airports and wait there for hours. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, when not, I was... Not everyone course but i know some people do that so it's like yeah sure you met them but it, it wasn't a coincidence yeah so when i was in hong kong uh doing the doing my security thing and uh when bts came there were these like stalkers or like fan cams or everyone lined up in front of the airport like in front of the gate but like we got like the info from the security team that they were doing a special operation mm-hmm. so even the security didn't know where they would come out so they would do like random like gates and they would go through a special mm-hmm. passageway mm-hmm. and then they came out from a completely different gate and completely different passageway so all the fans that waited i i kind of felt bad because they waited more than 12 hours mm-hmm. but they missed bts they yeah. didn't get to see a I second mean, for their safety yeah 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 of course and then they just went so yeah that happens yeah. that happens anyway yeah Anyways, it was lovely meeting you. Yeah, thank you mm-hmm. for always, like yeah. every week, tuning in. Yeah. Genuinely. For sure. If you want to do more Zoom calls, just let me know. Yeah, guys. Guys, and yeah, we should maybe like do this every week, like pick someone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good to like, uh, you know, Yeah. Um, physically? No, that's weird. <laughs> virtually? <laughs> yeah, virtually. See, virtually see like how uh, our viewers are like and, you know, talk with them and have some human interaction. Mm. So, yeah appreciate this rachel yeah and thank you to everybody for yeah. joining today in the live mm-hmm. and obviously yeah, tune in you. next I week i had a lot of fun yeah good yeah yeah so uh i hope to see you again soon yeah. and next uh, week <laughs> you go off uh, and have some good sleep yeah good <laughs> gonna, night for most of you yeah, yeah we're gonna go get some lunch <laughs> yeah so yeah bye guys what are you gonna get for lunch oh um, haven't decided no, haven't decided are you gonna even have lunch let's have lunch okay okay just something quick yeah Yeah. bye guys everybody thanks bye bye rachel see you again see you soon Bye. bye 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 that was fun that was that was good okay yeah so that's it uh anna's gonna end her stream i'm gonna oh don't forget the ant dance anna says the dance yes in all caps says rain oopsie <laughs> all caps what do you mean oopsie you Next need to week, do maybe. it wow she's she just got all those super chats and no dance she didn't deliver but yeah before we end i just want to remind you uh go to pirozo.net uh check out our new personal brands lovely logo over here we have a soul mark over there so you can brag that you've been to Seoul or something like that and uh Anna did the model shoot over here Bella over here with the Windrunner so go check them out uh if you use the KPC KPC live coupon code right now or if you check out the um oh that's not pinned if you use the KPC live coupon code you can get a 15 percent discount on every item on all your purchases so yeah it's a very big discount only viable for 48 hours so look at that uh check that out i feel bad for jen so that's why he's not here right now yeah i think so yeah he he just came back from a trip from japan and then that happened so uh, we have more and more products being updated every single week very interesting ones i like this draw yeah so go check them out please and uh i will see you guys next week and uh yeah bye 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 bye